Why, hello there. If you are listening to this podcast on something that is not patreon.com slash Djibouti Dubs, then that means that it's old. I mean, it's free. You can enjoy it. It's old. It's got a little dirt on it. Just get the dust off. Enjoy it. It's yours. It's free. Enjoy it. But if you want it when it comes out the oven, boys, mm-mm, good. You, uh, <clears throat> you got to go to patreon.com slash Djibouti Dubs and get the fresh hotness. As soon as we drop it, we upload it to the boys on the Patreon. They submit questions. They get other perks. The inside scoop, if you will. And there's a lot of good stuff on there. So thank you to our patrons for supporting us, making the dream come alive, making it possible. Let's enjoy some podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another fantastic podcast mm-hmm. starring your hosts, Justin Damon and yeah, Pops. Buddy. Yes. Yeah, yes. there's a lot of podcasts out there, but this is another fantastic podcast. That's right. Yes, podcast. it is. God damn it. It's fantastic out Woo! here. That's the best. Yes. Fantastic people. Back and better than ever. Every uh, year voted the best podcast in the world, boys. Again. How does it feel? Wow, it feels great. Wow. By the people. You know, Joe Rogan Joe Rogan really needs to step his stuff up because uh, you know, I mean, we're way ahead. Man. It's the irregular so the once a week sort of oh. once every other week that sort of puts us above it's, it's it keeps a, people on their toes it's the such a inconsistency you know? is what people love yeah. the day to day is when it. it's, it's too much it's too much you gotta you know just a little bit here and there they, they know what to expect with these other ones you know what I'm saying? oh yeah it's predictable at this it, point yeah. if it shows up you know at wednesday at five o'clock in my itunes but here we do with things a little bit different but we are getting more regular so that's yep. that thank mm-hmm. you for watching Thank you for Solid. sticking listening. The thank views. you. Yeah, listen. People, yeah, people thanks for us. sticking with us while we were irregular. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. Thanksgiving got me all irregular as That's well. The hell yeah, yeah. dude. Did that got tier me. list, uh, you know, follow through and keep you guys straight and forward with your what you got for Thanksgiving? <laughs> you know what? What I did s- the people say? Probably yeah. mad that we didn't like cornbread. I guess. It was overall consensus. I, I saw a lot of people mad we didn't like cornbread. Most people were agreeing with me and Justin. There were a few people that were saying that we were fucking up, though, with the cranberry sauce. Mm-hmm. They were saying to try it on turkey. I, I, I'm i still not going to do yep. it. I don't care. I don't care how many people tell me They're to try it. Out. I'm not doing it. I was blinded by everything else. I said I would try it, and I didn't. So, oh, sorry gotcha. to let you guys down. Gotcha. Guys. All you crannies. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Just you crannies. crannies. Sorry, guys. I let the crannies down, but it was good. Here we are. What are we doing? Uh, we got a dub coming out, a Christmas dub this week, followed by another Christmas dub the next Ooh, week. Probably. Wait, back-to-back probably. dubs on what? a December Tis. ending the year strong? But we don't Tis. do that, though. Tis the season, boys. So we're going in with the hard and heavy dubs. Hopefully, they don't, yeah. hopefully they don't get blocked worldwide. That'd hopefully be nice. Not. Come on, YouTube. Just that would be nice. Let us have there's, this one. There's parts of the world that don't have Christmas, right? They should be allowed to show it there. <laughs> you think? I mean, come on. A here, Christmas miracle. <laughs> here in Japan, they eat cake. On Christmas? Mm-hmm. That's. Just, I mean, not a not a bad not a bad way to celebrate. They eat cake. Not not too bad. I mean, uh, Christmas for cake. Clo- yeah. Close, come on, that's close. a cookie holiday, dude. Ah, uh, true. Santa Claus. Santa Claus, bring cake. Should we just? <laughs> should we just? Get right into it. We got I mean, that's the, the only update we got there. We we got to get on the charity. We did our charity stream. We're still oh, working yeah, on those yeah. goals. Still doing the cosplay. Yep, yep. We still owe people all that. I that still long, have pink hair. That long list, a laundry list of things to do for the people. Yeah, but it is it is happening. We did not forget about any of it. Plans so, are moving. Yeah, yeah. D and D stream, rock band, it's all, all, all those all good things. It. Moving parts. We had to split up the squad. Everyone start getting things ready. It's coming together. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a lot right. of charity uh, sponsored streams. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all there is on the Djibouti front. Should we just get into the world new world news, pop culture, and topical references? What's trending on YouTube? Let's see it. Ghostbusters is back. Zoomer Busters. Go Zoomers. Ghostbusters. Zoomer. Zoomer. Zoomer life. Zoomer life. That was, uh, I mean, that did not look like a ghost. Um, do any of us care? I mean, we, we should do a movie dub on the original sometime. I, you know I'd what? Be down with that. The original is supposed to be classic, right? Yeah, classic, people like love the, that. One of the best '80s movies like ever. You guys want to see his webbed toes? Oh, I don't have to see them. Yeah, we do. Ew, they're really oh. weird looking. Uh, uh. We have to go to E Bombs World for this oh, one. No, it's banned everywhere else. We have to go to E Bombs World for this one. 
His feet being filthy just adds so oh. much to this. That's what the oh god, what the is fuck what are we is looking at? E -bombs what World's happened to E-bombs? E uh, very Where's, weird. Dude, Where's the 4chan video? now? What's Where? going on? I'm trying. I'm on E-bombs World, and I'm just getting it destroyed by ads. There's no video. Porn pop-ups, please. I think honestly, I have to like enable ads to see it. Uh, we're not gonna do that. I don't want to. E-bomb, you're you're screwing up, dude. Can you just type it? Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, Facebook video. Oh god. Oh, hey, god, hey, dude. at least. Oh. At least Facebook video works. It uh, does work. It does sorta. work. Do we want to show this off? I'm sorry you guys have to see. I'm sorry. Well, the crew asked me to appear I apologize. On so, now I don't know what, what this is for. Joy. Looks like he's like by Spook you. Central. So, Dan Aykroyd, we're gonna go ahead and have you audition your web toast. <laughs> a young Aykroyd. So this if you want this part, go ahead and show what's uh, what you're made of. This looks like an ISIS hostage interrogation video. Show the toes. Show the toes yeah. now. So, Mr. Ackroyd, is it true that you do, in fact, have webbed feet? I mean, Your webbed toes, toes are, are not exactly what you think webbed toes are. Now, if you want this part, we're going to have to see him. All right, now take it off, We're going to have to see him. How bad do you want this part? And boom. Oh. I mean, a little crusty and gross, but so if his... you look, it's the middle and the ring, the, That's well, the, the ring. middle and the pointer finger toes <laughs> are yeah, connected. The, They're conjoined. The big toe is the thumb toe, right? Yeah. He could have okay. cleaned his feet for this a little bit. They're really huh? gross. I mean, a little Why are they so proud. dirty? The nails have poop under them? Uh, Did he know he was going to get foot interviewed? God damn, I hate I, feet. It looks like it. <laughs> so gross, dude. Well, actually, no. There's like red carpet here that ends. Okay, it's just concrete. But see, oh, look. Listen, oh, they're stabbing a rusty it with a knife. They're stabbing it with a knife. A rusty knife. A rusty screwdriver yeah. showing you. Yeah. There's no other they, way to demonstrate. No this. tools. Indeed, webbed. Look at that. Oh, he's jabbing oh. it. He's just jabbing okay. his web meat. Ugh, it's, with, the, with the rusty Phillips head screwdriver. Trying so hard not to throw up here, but I gotta, I gotta say something. Ah, oh. God! Ah. I just jabbing it. Oh. I don't want to. I feel like that's a little misleading. It's not. It's not so much that it's webbed. It's right? webbed. Is it? Because they're webbed. just connected. Because yeah. I thought webbed was when you go like this and you separate it and there's that little flap in between. Well, that's alien for sure. That's I like mean, it's not human, yeah. but still. This is like conjoined toes. Like this, this wouldn't help him swim any faster is what I'm saying. No, no. This Maybe, is... huh? That little piece of skin in the middle. Make your foot more like a flapper than a bunch of individual to uh, toes. I was scrolling up to see his webbed uh, cock. But where? <laughs> his oh. balls are webbed too. His balls are connected. Oh, oh no. weird. Oh. Well, now he's he's jabbing it with the rusty Phillips head <laughs> screwdriver. Oh man! I, I thank God there's listeners, not watchers, of this podcast. Where does web toes lie with all the foot fetish people? Uh, that's that's probably like the ultimate. Super rare exotic. Oh my god! Can we it's not? Like a let, can we not do this, you Think guys? Let's them in your mouth. not do this. Just think right about now. it in your mouth. Uh, I think it's probably more of an advantage than it is a disadvantage. I think. Because what I do you? Guess. What do you need toes for? <sighs> that's a big, that's a good point. Do you grab stuff with your toes? Sometimes I do. I mean, if laundry. I'm feeling, if I'm lazy, laundry. You I can try. do that with a web toe, though. Yeah, It'd be so a long little, as they can grab, they can clamp down. A little more difficult, though, with the web. Oh, what's the advantage of having individual dexterous... Only, let's be honest. The only one we use is the big toe, yeah. the pointer finger toe, kind of yeah. picking up. Like Are you trying to say that Dan Aykroyd's more evolved than us? I think so. Is I he think... further along? He is connected with the aliens more than we are, for sure. I mean, if you think about it, it's entirely possible. It is, it is entirely possible. Dan Aykroyd's toes. We go deep. Deeply diving into the toes of Dan Aykroyd and his Crystal Skull Vodka. Does he know something we don't? Let's find out. I mean, he has Crystal Skull Vodka. There's Indiana Jones the movie, The Crystal Skull. They're aliens. There's some kind of relation there. I don't. I, I feel like there's something. There's something <laughs> truly out there. He guys. knows something we don't know. That's folks. all you need. That's all you need. He's yeah. an alien. Uh, all right. Well, there's other movies coming out. Look at this. It's I don't know what this is. You guys know what this is? Is this a book or something? I it's, saw it on uh, Twitter. And I Ryan didn't Reynolds know. movie. It's Ryan Reynolds, so it doesn't matter what it is. Everybody's gonna love it. Ryan Reynolds is Beauty Ryan and the Beast? Reynolds. Disney. So nice. it's it's Ryan Reynolds comedy. Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds. Another movie written specifically for Ryan Reynolds. Yes, that's that's what this genre is. <laughs> yeah. Movies written for Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. And guess what? <laughs> it's got song. that. It's got that soundtrack that Ryan Reynolds loves. Oh, it's man. Ryan it's Reynolds. It's his Deadpool mix. 
Oh, she's doing the Fortnite dance to this fucking Mariah Carey song. This isn't Deadpool. We swear. Oh, man. I love movies. Oh, I love you, Ryan. I'm I love big, you. I'm a big fan. Ryan Reynolds, you keep doing you, dog. So you know why, like, people go, why isn't there any original movies? This is why. Because Ryan Reynolds is starring in all of them. <laughs> yeah. It's just is Hannibal, it original, Hannibal Burst and Ryan, go- <laughs> and Ryan just hanging out. And it's Ryan Reynolds is in Fortnite. This is oh wow wow you Justin you are you're Ryan ahead of the curve. Reynolds is Fortnite wait wait is, yeah it, the sad thing is I, is that a meme or is that actually what this is because that is what this looks like yeah so all the bad guys dress like Fortnite skins and then he gets glasses and he sees oh Fortnite oh my god and then dude. he actually sees Fortnite the game we got a hectic inside look at that he could see her stats and she's getting ready to build and he has a HUD and he has a HUD. Yeah, I would get claimed. All right. But oh, uh, look, there's a life uh, thing there. Yeah, dude. Med pack. But you got to have the glasses Fortnite. on. Fortnite. Fortnite, the movie. Starring it's Ryan Reynolds. Battle Royale, the movie. Starring Deadpool. Oh, wow, this is a Zoomer movie, dude. This is why, because I go, look at all this random crap. Oh, Fortnite. Yeah. 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 Catapults with a Lamborghini. That's Fortnite. That's Fortnite for you. <laughs> yeah. People are starting to understand the formula. She looks like a Fortnite character. Yeah, she's hot, but she has like you Pixar know, kind of face. Yeah. Kind of what, look. Is, what is that formula? It's like neon colors, military guns, hipster, uh, little hipster, guys, shitty, shitty meme dances, guys with pink hair. It's like you throw that all in a blender and you get Fortnite. Oh, God, Fortnite. Eat it. Fortnite movie. I'd, I'd much rather this just be a new Deadpool movie with the violence and the comedy. Yeah. Deadpool yeah. was so good. Why not just make another Deadpool? Huh? No, does probably, Deadpool not have yeah. any more that that's honestly the only superhero movie I'd be like excited to see again. Another Spider Man, because I always love Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A reboot of X Men and then maybe a new Deadpool because Deadpool movies are so good. So yeah, I know yeah. why this movie's I getting can't, good. Can't complain. I know why this movie's getting made. Hmm. Because there's one hundred percent. One hundred percent there's gonna be a Fortnite movie. And they want to get on this before that comes out so that when they do this Uh Fortnite shit, it's like, oh, you're trying to be the Fortnite movie. Fortnite guy. You're right. This is like making everybody be like, this is not quite Fortnite. Mm. Now I want a Fortnite Mm. movie so that the Fortnite movie can actually do it justice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the foreplay for the Fortnite (laughs) foreplay. Paving the way. Fortnite foreplay. (laughs) Paving the way for Fortnite movie. Fortnite guy. Starring Ryan Reynolds. Was well, wow, called Free Rachel Guy. Lifetime supply of virginity. <laughs> virginity gaming jokes. <laughs> I find Got that him. I find that offensive. Is As it? a virgin man, I find that very offensive. Dude, what year is it, man? Uh, what else is being made? Speaking of what, what else year is, is trending? <laughs> um, but yeah, this. Uh, who knows? I didn't see Spectre, but everyone said that movie was bleh. But hey, look who it is! Christoph Waltz locked up with a weird hey, face. Hey, does he get to be weird foreign guy again? There, it looks like they took notes from Skyfall. So he's got like a weird face. That was the best mm-hmm. thing about Skyfall. It takes his like mouth or whatever, oh, yeah. his face part. Yeah, that off, was, that and he's was, like all creepy. Yeah, I remember that too because it was supposed to be like oh, such reveal, but you're like. That guy, he just looks weird. He's scary now. He's just a little, oh, gross. Cool. Put it back in. He's scary. There's like some mask thing going on. This looks good. This looks cool. That's like, a cool That enemy. looks cool. I love when. How would you describe I like, that guy? I like Bond getting it's into these like, like DC comic villains. Fa- yeah. Phantom of the Snowstorm. Like, this is like a Batman yeah. villain. I'd be like, yo, is this guy from Batman? Yeah. And then what the face reveal? Mm-hmm. That's what you're hoping. No. Bond is back. But yeah, I, I kind of want Idris Elba. My boy can do no wrong. I think it's going to happen. No time to He's die. He's British. Mm-hmm. He's cool looking. He's real cool. Who else is cool? Is Wonder Woman cool, guys? Because Wonder Woman's coming out with a new movie. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. She's um, back. <laughs> I liked Wonder Woman, the movie. I thought it was fun. It was way better than Captain Marvel. I never saw it. I don't know. It was fun. The The love interest was a little bit tacked on because, like... Was it spy movie <laughs> feeling? Or was no. it just typical superhero? A typical superhero. Yeah, yeah. And it's... Yeah, I, I, I kind of get what you mean. Is that this whole thing is Thor Ragnarok. This yeah. whole trailer. Oh, yeah. This whole trailer is Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. Thor Ragnarok did all right. Let's do that. Like... Like superhero shit with just 80s theme over it. That's Thor Ragnarok, right? Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. You That's know? how Hollywood executives think, <laughs> right? Yeah. Brilliant. Just remake it. Guys, Miss Universe 2019 was finally elected. Yes. Let's watch. The time. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Steve right. Harvey coming out here. All right. What I is he wearing? I'm going to try War. not to fuck this one up, y'all. Wore it. That looks like, like suit. That looks like straight out of Michael Jackson's closet. Come on. Hopefully, I don't screw this up. He's got a lot of rhinestones on got, it. He got invited back. After fucking up so hard. Dude, I'm so shocked. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that happened. He must have somebody on the inside. I think Miss Universe is Donald Trump's the thing. Second. Is it that great of an honor to host the Miss Universe thing? I mean, if that paycheck is nice enough, I'll go back. I keep seeing these zeros at the end of this check. <laughs> Hell yeah, Is this thing is. still about, like, what would you do if you had a billion dollars? Is it like that kind of question? That's how you win, or is it who's the hottest? I think it's just who's the hottest. Do, they, do we care what they had to say? I would save the world. Do we care about their bullshit answer? No, you wouldn't. I would bring textbooks to all the schools that don't have textbooks. I would teach the children that don't have read. But, how but to I don't read. know how to read. <laughs> but I don't know how to read. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> that, I was just about to say. <laughs> <laughs> that little Samuel is that South looks a little, big South African. That looks a little Sam Jackson. We have done it, everyone. So South Africa is making a big comeback, man. Miss Universe today. <laughs> Today, shout out, shout out to South Africa. Today. Thank you so much. My girlfriend's South African, and now it's just it's everywhere. I'm like, oh, they run, they won rugby. Oh, they're Miss Universe. Oh, they they're yeah. making a big comeback. Just, run. <laughs> Justin's the South African. It's, every, yeah. it's everywhere. I was dating one before it was everywhere. Before it was cool. <laughs> I was in the know, man. <laughs> I know a little Africans. <laughs> what do you win when you win this? I think you get money. Oh. And then all, and then I think you, probably, you get oh, money. Yeah. You get money to <laughs> donate to the children, this. like like you said How you would. Money. Uh, you get flowers and a crown. That's about it. You get Steve Harvey's phone number. Go you ahead, get, hit you me get, up. Are you free? You get to do commercials for Merry Nike Christmas. or something. You get I'm to like do. You get to be <laughs> yeah. on a Wheaties box yeah. or something. Yeah. I think you get to go on Bill Burr's podcast. Uh oh. <laughs> be careful watch out yeah i don't know what the what the goal is of that now you have a now you have a strong voice what if you're second no. what if you're second place mr universe what would you do miss miss runner up universe Where's mr universe i would definitely hit the clubs and be like <laughs> yeah. mr universe is flexing somewhere yeah. mr Where's... universe second runner up you know it's it's hard to even get even on the platform i think that one's called the bachelor right yeah. Mr. Universe. <laughs> the bachelor. bachelor. The first Mr. Bachelor. Olympia is the lifting one, but we don't have a Mr. Yeah. Universe contest, is there? Oh, so is it just hot dudes parading in bikinis? If I had a <laughs> bunch of money, <laughs> what would I, I do? I, I would help all the children who need textbooks. I'm good. so glad you asked. Hmm. Yeah, what would the, the male counterpart to that be? They had to lift Just a bunch stuff? of dudes wearing suits. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That guy really knows how to wear a suit. I'd wow. invest all of my money into a nice loan. Dude, oh. Mr. Mexico knows how to wear a fucking suit. Ole. So I, like I, wear like a suit. I diversified Ola. all my funds and donated to all the children. Thank you for voting for uh, Mr. Mexico for Mr. Universe. Ole. And I know some love to play football. Football. Football, football, football. Back to popular culture, ladies and gentlemen. The Witcher's coming out soon. -ish. I'm looking forward to this so bad. I need a show. I'm hoping this is my show. So I finished Irishman. I finished, well, I'm all caught up in Mandalorian. Did you guys watch those yet? I need to watch the fifth episode. I watched the th first three episodes of Mandalorian. Fifth episode comes back, I think. Starts, it's good? Starts getting good okay. again. Cool. So I'll give okay. four is a weird, chapter four of the Mandalorian is a weird filler. hiccup. Filler. Popcorn. That, if you're going to do filler, at least make it cool. Right? Uh, I yeah. think make him do Mandalorian stuff. Yes. Yeah. But that's what episode five is. It's more filler, but it's like cool shit's actually starting to happen. Is it moving it forward? It's planting seeds. Ah, I swear those Planting episodes. seeds. Okay. Okay. Right. What about the <laughs> Irishman? You say you finished that? Yeah, that Dude, was I'm, good. I'm only halfway through that shit. I, it keeps going and going. I love it's not, the Irishman. It's, it's, too, it's too short, really. Wow, too short it's for too three short. and a half hours. <laughs> just starting to understand the characters. Yeah. Like, just, it's over. What's cool about the Irishman is based on real facts. Like this actually happened. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's the that's the coolest part. Well, even the well, I mean, the history of yeah. Hoffa. This is how yeah. he goes. Yeah. Wow. I gotta say too, um The Frank character is a real dude. 
I believe so, yeah. Or is that? Really? I didn't know if yeah. that was. I didn't oh know, wow! I yeah. didn't know if that was a Tarantino like alternate telling that's using what, this fictional character. No, so it's that's very, what I thought. It's very parallel uh, parallel to Goodfellas, where Goodfellas is based on real people. Henry Hill actually went to prison. Ever oh, since shit. I was a kid, I always wanted to be a gangster. Yeah. Mm. And then you see some of the stuff that happens in the Irish. And you're like, Jesus Christ, was there no cops? <laughs> yeah. And then you go, Oh, they're all paid off and corrupt. Oh. oh, that makes more sense now. It's crazy seeing people get shot in the face in yeah. that movie. Yeah. It's, pretty it's brutal. just so like, bam, bam, bam. just uh, hey Frank, how you doing? Yeah, <laughs> just it's like they get one sound. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, just walking <laughs> by on the street. Hey, hey how you doing? <laughs> like, I didn't know what actually happens when you get shot in the face. I thought it was more like a watermelon exploding, but there's just a few holes in your just face and you lay down and you leak. Well, and you start leaking. In the Irishman, they they say that they could use those big caliber guns. He's using a little. I mean, you want it to be discreet, though. But they use a, a smaller caliber. It's more reliable. Pew, pew. Makes a little bit of sound. Pew. And, and makes people run away. And you, but don't alert the cops. And you yeah. And you, when you're done, you dump it in the river. And you just dump it in the river. Oh, man, the shots of De Niro throwing guns in the water <laughs> is so good. Huh, there's it's so a, many too. If anybody went oh, down man. there, they could arm a small army. I love that seeing old man <laughs> body trying to throw it. Yeah, because yeah, he's still like old man body, yeah. even though his face is all youth <laughs> yeah. with CGI. He's yeah. throwing it like an Dude, old that, guy. That uh, <laughs> CGI shit's getting pretty crazy, too. I mean, it's like enough to where you can still tell. Obviously, it's there, mm -hmm. but it's getting hard to tell. Yeah. This, is, this is why I think I wonder if this is going to start happening. Like actors are going to go to like like when you're once you make it and you're in and you're young and you're like a big booming actor, you come into this place where they take like 8K photos of your face from all angles and almost mm -hmm. preserve your face. Oh, yeah. And just get like round footage, like circular footage, angles of all yeah. angles, and then that way, because it's a little bit of that deep fake. It's a little bit I'm, of a deep. Fake. I'm sure it is. Yeah, deep fake in yourself. I yeah. wonder, did they like have to pull up taxi and like have to pull up videos to get photo reference? So it's like, dude, we should just do this now in case it happens to Twitch and YouTube. You know? Yeah, just do the. The uh, yeah. LA noir, always, we capture got, your head. We should get a nice camera and get like 8K photos of our faces now in all angles. In our yeah. prime. Just so, we, so if we want, we could put that filter on 20 years from now and just be yep. like, hey guys, hear me. It's always yeah. be young. So you can have your face with, <laughs> with a beard again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Less fat. Anything yep. happens. <laughs> Black just, hair again. Yeah. Put, the fil <laughs> put the filter back on. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that's going to start happening for actors. It's like, oh, not only, oh, listen, kid, you want to make it in this business, you got to go, you got to go get your head shots. It's like, you got to go get your head shot. You got to get your head scanned. <laughs> yeah, you got a 3D head, head scan. Scan. <laughs> They just, put your head in a toaster, crazy, they press a button, too. couple minutes, wambo, bambo, you're out. Yeah, that's crazy. I think that's the future of making movies. Because I'm sure, like, if someone had Marlon Brando's face, like, deep fakes when they were doing, like, uh, you know, last or Apocalypse Now, and they had a flashback. They would have fucking deep faked his yeah, real yeah, face onto yeah, his face. Of course. And now it's getting there. With with that, it's about to be there. Yeah. I saw him say like they just put a couple dots on their faces and they just little ping pong balls. I don't think they even did a ping pong ball for this one. And then it was like he said they just did like three or four dots. They figured out just enough so it wasn't like annoying them while they're trying yeah. to act. Mm -hmm. But dude, De Niro could keep working. For Damn, another 20, yeah. 30 years. <laughs> How well, old is he? Are they going to get to the point where they get so deep fake that they can just replace the guy walking around and then just, it's the face is planted onto the guy? And oh, now, yeah. Now it's just Tom Cruise. Yeah. But you don't even need Tom Cruise anymore. Yeah. You can yeah. just anybody, but just put Tom Cruise's face on that no name actor. Yeah. yeah. And then forever <laughs> and ever, we'll always have these actors in movies. Yeah. I think it'll, so you, you can just work forever and ever. And De Niro's, dude, the best part of that is that permanent frown. He's oh, got, yeah. oh, yeah. got that oh, yeah. permanent. Get that old man yeah. gray. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah, he really does. It's so like it's like a tight little, and then at the ends it just goes down. It's like I can't even replicate it. It's like you have to be doing that yeah. since you were a little kid to have that. The smoke it's, it's, yeah. it's there with it's, no lips in that the, diner. And just, yeah. You do the turtle face for years, and it just permanently yeah. stays that way. So good. What are you gonna do? Right, right, so good. All right. What do you guys think of Al Pacino before? <clears throat> yeah. What uh, Pacino? Al Pacino in that? It's good. He I was, think it's he, fucking amazing. He, yeah, he killed it. Um, I don't know too much about Jimmy Hoffa though. So I had no this, idea. You don't really this need explains to know. It. Yeah, yeah, you don't really need to know. No, okay. three, yeah, three and a half hours to get it. But I mean, Al Pacino, he's always killing it. You gotta yell really loud. That's the thing. That's the thing. Always yelling. And eat ice cream. It's so good, dude. Yeah, I, I love, love the the type of story, which is this loudmouth guy who you yeah. love, mm -hmm. 
and you want him to make it, but he's such a but loud you mouth. Know and what's going to happen? Oh, the best is when everyone's telling him, like, you need to see everybody. I'm, I'm not cool. saying it. I love <laughs> yeah. the idea. Yeah, I'm not the one. I'm not, not saying, saying it. it. I'm not saying this. And I love you. I look, I got nothing but respect <laughs> for you. I'm my, not saying My daughter this. knows you very well. But people are talking, and they want you to kind of shit the fuck up. Just keep them out. And he goes, oh, oh, fuck it. What are they going to do to me? <laughs> <laughs> they can't come after me. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. If mobsters, oh, man. multiple mobsters come up, like, hey, listen, listen you, man, I love you. I love you. I'm not saying it. I'm not just, no, this isn't coming from me. But you need to kind of shit the fuck up. Oh, I love oh, it. Like, oh my god, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Have so good. Ice cream. I just love how so the good. mobsters talk in those movies with their hands and everything. You're not hearing it from me. You're not hearing it from yeah. me. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say, but you know, you might want to shut the fuck up. I love all the respect stuff that they do, dude. Mm -hmm. These little respectful things. It's all about respect. He's been rude. So he got to think yeah. about. Yeah. That's the best is when there's someone's rude once. Yeah. And then they sit down and they look at each other and then the next scene is like <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's enough. That's, like, that's <laughs> enough for God death. Sucker looked at me the wrong way at that birthday party. Come on, fuck yeah. on, bust his he goes, What's this pin sucker. on your shirt? That's dumb. And then you're like, No, why'd you say why'd you wear why that? did you say anything? <laughs> yeah. You just don't talk around these guys. And yeah. he goes, Fuck you. And you're like, well, He's going to fuck you pretty oh, yeah. good. He might have been all right. And then he goes, get the fuck out of here. And you're like, no, <sighs> you idiot. Damn. Nah, bro, I'm good. No, that I movie, love the Irishman. That you movie guys was so it. good. Uh, the only thing, I don't know, maybe the, I, I'm wondering why it's not doing as good as it should. It's uh, like it's not, it's not pulling in as many views as like some of the other stuff, like Bird Box. I'm going to be honest with you. Better. When I saw you know it was what? three it's and a half hours, I was like, Ooh. I, a little scary. I, I felt the same thing, but it's just because it's not a meme, you know. Bird Box turned into a meme. All this, all of this new shit on Netflix usually turns into a meme somehow. And this is like the only like Netflix exclusive that is like a big deal mm. that isn't basically no just memes. Get, it's yeah. No memes. No no real advertising, right? Because I haven't really, other than word of mouth, I haven't seen anything yeah. for the yeah. Irishman. Yeah, like when Bird Box came out, you had to see it. Yeah, because there yeah. were so many memes of uh, what's her face with a blindfold. Yeah. Like, what yeah. is this fucking movie? I have to see it. Exactly. No memes were generated. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. There was. I have not seen one thing on Instagram. Right. Anything. Not yeah, even I like seen anything. About not it. even a scene where someone's getting strangled. Like, oh, this is me before school. Dumb meme, and then it's like, oh, like nothing. Yeah. Not one single thing. Uh, the I would have said the time it being three and a half hours. I was a little bit like, okay, I gotta set aside a day. Mm -hmm. And then I was also like, the name. Irishman. Irishman yeah. If you just heard the name, oh, have you seen the Irishman? It sounds boring. I think the name's not that yeah. catchy. Yeah. And the name, after watching it, I'm like, I don't feel like the name is doing it justice. Yeah, you're, for you're how, right. I think you're right. If it was more of a mob kind of name, yeah. And I mean that, I guess, was his mob name. Taken out. <laughs> something more. I don't know. If I feel it like the name like, was like. By was, the name, I was like, that sounds like a boring movie. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Irishman. Yeah, maybe like something with Jimmy Hoffa in the title or something. Even then, I think that's too. I don't know how I would have marketed it. Reference. How would you have marketed just, it to be more successful? Because Bird Box did better than this movie. I know, right? That's yeah, I brutal. Feel, it's just it's it's Martin Scorsese. <clears throat> so it's so you much. Said that. Uh, Martin, said, Scorsese's uh, Martin Scorsese film, film. Yeah. and then the Irishman, and then have the actors because I remember I saw like Joe Pesci. I was like, "Whoa, Joe Pesci's back in a movie called Irishman." At first, I was like, "Is this like a boring movie about just Irish heritage?" Yeah. And I was like, "Eh, yeah." I, I'm I, okay. I, I had no oh. idea it was a mob movie until you, you guys know said that. I would have called The Departed the Irishman, and this movie Departed. Okay, Departed mm. sounds a little bit better. Which than one's The Departed? That's, um, um, it's the one with Leonardo Leo. DiCaprio. Oh, got yeah. you. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that movie is fucking great. If you guys have not seen it, go see it. My God, ten out of ten. Ten that's out some, of ten. Some good shit. Don't be intimidated by the three and a half hours. It yeah. flies by, especially yeah. um, <laughs> if you're a fan of Goodfellas too. Yeah, it's Goodfellas. It is. People are like it is, but it isn't, and that's true. It's well, a different yeah. story, but it's the same actors, the <laughs> same story structure, Director. the same narration style, everything. It, so it, good. It looks like a Scorsese movie. You're like, ah, this feels comfortable and cozy. Good music. Yeah. yeah. Good um, music. Great soundtrack. Great shooting. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good music. Um, what were we watching? We were watching The Witcher, Witcher. trailer. Uh, Henry Cavill. Uh, same same movie, basically. Same destiny. thing. Uh, yeah. Well, I want to see this. You know what I actually heard about this? Hmm. Is that it's supposed to be more of a <clears throat> horror than yeah. like a video game 
oh, cool. you know, franchise series. Yeah, because that's what kind of the books are, is the witchers get hired to take on these monsters, essentially. Okay. And it's just ta it like takes place in like medieval times. <laughs> Cool. So yeah. I was so down with all these Mandalorian esque shows coming out now. Just like <clears throat> cool main character. Whoa, his that demon looks so form. Metal. Looks sick. Dude, that looks sick as fuck. Yeah, like that monster right there. I hope there's a bunch of shit like that. Oh, no, like, there sh there should be if this is the Witcher. Okay, awesome. So I never played that game. I still need to get into it before the series comes out. That looks good. It doesn't look overly CG. Like, oh, he's just standing in a green screen room. This looks cool. I love this actor too. He's really cool. Yeah, he does a good job. Yeah, he really he looks like a comic book character come to life, comic, right? Yeah, he doesn't look I mean, real. Superman. <laughs> he fucking is Superman. Like, he looks like what Superman would look like. And this is actually a hard character to pull off. He's Gerald very... is, is in Witcher. Does he have? Do you choose what he says? Yeah. So that's kind of so tricky he, too. So he can kind of have any personality. Yeah, he could be just a standoffish dick, which is probably more accurate. And then he could just be very helpful and, you know, <laughs> goes have his way to try to help people. My thing with these characters, though, like Mandalorian, they're sort of this... Like, if you had to describe to me, what is the Mandalorian's personality? What would you say? Uh, Very straightforward. He, he doesn't a, take a whole lot of shit. Short. Short. Very, very short. Cold. All about his job. <laughs> Naticulous. That's, that's about it. it, right? <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Not a very strong personality. Yeah. And he's in a tin can helmet. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. like, it's hard to, that's the only thing about Mandalorian. I'm like, it's hard to get behind this character. Do I care? Do I want him to Cause, succeed? Do I want him to, Baby Yoda is the thing that carries you. Oh, yeah. yeah that's this the guy for that is, show. I, I'm like, uh, what is his personality? He's just like, and then chapter four of that episode, we yeah. keep re re referencing, ruins it because it's like, now he's acting not like short and stoic and. He's kind of yeah, like he's kind of counter to what he's starting he was. to bend a little bit too yeah. easily. He's starting to become a good guy really easily. Yeah. I think he's supposed to be played as a bounty hunter, ruthless killer, but it's Disney and you can't do that. So they're like, uh, just make him short and about his very serious about his job. But yeah. isn't he supposed to be like a killer? That's a what ruthless I thought. dude. That's what I thought. Yeah, and then Baby Yoda is the you know it's the ruthless dude touching the baby and the baby goes ah! and to grabs your finger. He's like. Oh, and then you have opposites. And that's when I was like, okay, yeah. they need to make this guy ruthless, but it's Disney, so they can't do that. Yeah. I'm hoping with this, they keep him as like a ruthless, short, <laughs> kind of, he's the rock and every other, all the, all the other characters are the crazy ones, right? Mm -hmm. That's how it should be portrayed. Um, uh, that's what I'm guessing. I never even played Witcher, but that's what this looks like. I would assume that he's like a, a Van Helsing kind of character, right? Yeah, that's very accurate to his yeah. archetype. Like, he fights the monsters, but he kind of is one, in a sense. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Is yeah. that demon form yeah. bullshit? Yeah, so the way witchers work is you get this mutated blood that lets them fight monsters, essentially. Mm. And so they're bounty hunters in their own right. You hire a witcher to kill the monster that's been terrorizing your town. Okay. He goes town to town killing beasts yeah, that and are killing people. Yeah, that's how he makes money. That's pretty cool. And he has magic powers, essentially, basically. He can, you know... And he fucks constantly. He's always fucking. Always fucking? Always I fucking. I saw Is that tits. An orgy room? I saw tits in the background. It's, it's blurred out. Well, there's bl blurred boobies. There should be a lot of sex scenes in this. Well, there's a lot of people getting it on in there. Yeah. Dude. Holy shnikes. This Netflix series is going to be great. There's at least 50 people in there banging. What must smell? Not dude. enough orgies these days. <laughs> the smell of an orgy. <laughs> oh, the God. smell, dude. The oh. musty, sharp. Sour, oh, a few of them that smell not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, clapping <laughs> cheeks, and it's like maybe the full moon happened oh. a little bit too recently. Get that, yeah. uh, yeah. like who shit and walked here, <laughs> you know, and, before this. And this is the medieval time, so you know, oh, yeah. washing your Yuck. gooch ain't exactly you know kosher these days. Being in a room with a bunch of other dirty gooches, <laughs> <laughs> gooches. <laughs> so when he turns in that form, is he? It's just demon form, or what it's is it? It's witcher form, oh. essentially. He can, just, he can sense things. Oh, it's just like yeah. a supernatural. Yeah. It's not like vampire. It's not no, demon. No, it's not like really. its own thing. Yeah. Yeah, it makes me actually want to check. This, this is weird. This is the first time I've actually wanted to see a game now because this looks cool. Right? Yeah. I wanted to pick up Witcher just because of this. Because uh, so... all the banging. It's <laughs> all the backdoor fucking. Dude, the fight scene looks cool. Dude, Witcher 3 is legit one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, wow. Uh, and I, I've played a lot of games, and I can easily say Witcher 3 is 
easily one of my favorite games of all time. Okay. No release date. December 20th. Oh, all right. shit. Finally. <laughs> just before Christmas. I was like, yeah, how Same much longer? Same day as Star Wars. Okay. So interesting timing on that. Huh. Yeah, we got we got to get our tickets. We should like pre-order some tickets for Star Wars so we could talk about that right away. Yeah, right? that's a good idea. And we should, yeah. All right, uh, going over back over to the Patreon. Oh, we that, got some questions, right? Or, or do we want to do? Or do we want to do that other tab first? Every, every, okay, we'll do the questions after this thing. Sorry, you guys have to wait. Just wait. Just wait. Yeah, ignore that little graphic you just. Sorry, saw. you're gonna have to wait because ignore it. Ignore it. It's time. Uh, when is this actually going down, Pops? This is the next coming Thursday, which I think is the 15th, not the 15th, the 10th. Okay. Something so like that. tomorrow. The Game Awards. It's time for the <laughs> Game of the Year. So here are the nominees. This is the Game of Game Awards Game of the Year thing. It's voted by the people for the people. You have to sign in and vote. Let's just go through it and, and uh, sign pretend in. because I'm already too lazy. To and sign I don't want to sway uh, anyone's vote either. I don't want to so be that guy. Let's just do this as a collective group. We'll go through and okay. we will uh, look at the nominees. Okay. And we'll make our own decision mm -hmm. who should win these many categories that they have. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's game of the year. They got control. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> have and you? moving on. Have you? Uh, I, I I only know the name and. When we were when we were deciding to do this bit for the podcast, I actually looked at this game. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it kind of looks like Quantum game that came out on Xbox kind of fairly recently. <laughs> it's that uh, it's that bitch from Avengers is the main character. She got her own movie. Oh, fucking Black Widow. Scarlet, Black Wh Scarlet, yeah, Scarlet Johansson or Scarlet Witch. Scarlet oh. Johansson. Oh. I have no idea Black what it's Widow. about. Black Widow. Plays, Scarlet Widow. Uh, apparently, people really like it. Okay. But what, what kind I, of what is the gameplay? It's kind of th uh, third uh, third perspective action game, and you have like control, like physics. Oh, I never heard of it. Shout out to the people that made that game. I'm sure it's great. I'm sure, it's great. But it's not gonna win. Yeah, game your of publisher the year. needs to be fired because I've never heard it's of it. It's not going to win game uh, of the year. The big one here, Death Stranding. Yeah. The uh, wild Divisive. card. Divisive. The wild card. <laughs> I'm gonna say because it's a wild card, that should not be game of the year. It's too dive. It's Splitting too everybody. yeah. It's I too think it's not. It, you know, it's game of the year. If everybody stands up and goes, "Yes, yeah, yeah." Death Stranding. I I know a lot of people like it, but it let way too many people down. You yeah. can't say game of the year is not for everyone. Yeah, yeah. 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 It has to be um, unanimous. That everybody's on board. Uh, Resident Evil Two. So good. I'm Loved glad it. it's nominated. Loved I'm it. so Loved happy it's it, nominated. It deserves a nomination for sure. But too short. Taking it. Too short. What do you guys think? It's too short. Too short. It's I too agree short. with that. Um, maybe it's over so quick. Dude. Maybe Capcom's best game for a long time. It's like, over so yeah. quick, and then there's not much replay value, is if, there? The other uh, mode. There's DLC. How fun was the other mode where you're fighting the you slimes just, over? Eh. You just run through them. All. Not even the slimes. What eh. was it? You, it was you the fight challenge against mode. The, the treeple. And yeah. you run past them. And it's I like you try to get best time. It's not. Was that fun? No. We didn't have fun. The replay that. value the story is, mode is good. You, story great. you play the, the story mode from the other perspective. Right. So you beat the game essentially four times. But it's the same game. Uh, that's. Uh, I don't know if that's replay value. I don't, I don't mind that. But when you play through the game again, switch it up a little bit. I feel like when you play it through the mm -hmm. second time, not enough stuff was switched. Yeah. So my yeah. least favorite. The beginning's different. And then that was about it. it. That was about it. My least favorite part of Final, or Final Fantasy VII, uh, Resident Evil Seven, was the enemy variety. It was the first person perspective, yeah, and only people. had the poop monsters. Poop mm -hmm. monsters. And this had family. zombies, and then you go, "Oh shit!" If we could get that first person perspective for the horror version of this mm. game, that would be fucking sick as fuck. If they kind of did a, a hybrid of Resident Evil Two and Resident Evil Seven, where it's like the story and the gameplay is that long, yeah. but the different uh enemy types yeah. like number seven or number two excuse me that would be like the, the perfect resident evil game yeah. seven with zombies and that's what i'm hoping yeah. number three yeah. is going to be that'd be so good uh, that, that could be number three i love the voice acting leon's great claire's great it is <coughs> legit scary like they do a good light of a job of the lighting and the focusing with your camera yeah and pops. you've had some of the worst jump scares because the <laughs> physics bursted at your but face. is it game of the year I, I don't would think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Think so, either. Think so. I'm glad it's nominated though, because so. it deserves to be nominated. Definitely. For sure. Sekiro. Shadows Sekiro. die. Twice. Miyazaki. Mm. 
Mm, 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 mm. In my book, I'm. I have to say that's it. If you ask, I have to say that's yeah, it. If you ask me, it hits all the beats of game of the year. Mm -hmm. If you had to be critical, you had to pick something that would prevent it from being game of the year. What would that be? My only thing is like what all the other people say is like the people who hate on the Star Wars game. It's so hard. Interesting. It's, so it's too hard. hard. People say that. That's people the only thing. Say that? The people were yeah, saying people reviewers say like it's so hard. People are uh, bitches, dude. This game is difficult and that is perfect and it is but the fun. difficulty is what makes it rewarding. Yes. So I don't see anything wrong with this game. It was the first time too, like the Souls games kind of had the story a little bit more mm -hmm. told and less cryptic. Yeah. It was a little bit more voice, it was voice acting, it was in your face. It was a little bit more presented more like a bigger game and i was like dude this is perfect my only critique i hope there's, a, I hope there's more that's my only critique only where's the critique? dlc <laughs> yeah that's my, there was where's no the dlc sequel? that's my critique there's not more of it oh it was so good. uh i would say not enough weapon variety and fashion souls okay uh, that's yeah. what i would say is like i wish i could customize my character a little bit give me a little <laughs> bit more depth to my rpg elements but this is an action game at its core that's a good point yeah. the fact that you could only have that one sword is yeah, I there's like, some weapon variety. Yeah, I kind of like the simplicity of it though. Yeah, and I like that you can't change your make your eyebrows out to here and then your nose this small and then your chin down to the floor mm -hmm. like Dark Souls games because then it brings down the look of the whole game. Yep. I feel like by locking it in, it would have been maybe cool if maybe story wise you go through a different outfit. But at the same time, I'm like his outfit's so like timeless and cool looking. I'm like. Kind of never wanted to change it. That was just me personally, though. I'm and, such a fanboy of it. And I, then Die Hard. I was like, dude, it's so perfect. Die Hard Souls fans would say it's not a Souls game. Yeah. And sure. there's no PvP. So. The level up system. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I liked how simple it was because <clears throat> it was the enemy types that were so crazy. Rather oh, than yeah. you changing up your shit, it was just like, whoa, there's a new enemy. And in Souls games, it's all about learning them and watching their timing, and it's like a new reaction. See, I would like that. Like, there's new enemies, but, like, different weapon variety that, like, maybe is you're able to fight a certain enemy better with this weapon True. than this weapon. Like, mm. just that kind of variety. Mm. Uh, but if no one got spoiled on the ape meme, right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Spoilers, sees a zombie, and he comes back after you defeat him. If you didn't know that going into that fight, that feeling of that monster just came back to life after I struggled so hard to just get his life bar to zero. So good. Dude. That is such a cool moment. So good. Even after knowing that he was gonna come back to life, it like took longer than I thought. Yeah. And there's still like a little just hint of just like, ah fuck, like genuine yeah. like terror. Like, oh shit, I gotta do this all over again. Those yeah. games get your blood pumping. They dude. do, man. It's so the music. It's everything. so satisfying when once you finally beat a boss in those games. That to me is immersive. Every, yeah. You are Everything. so into it. You're like, fuck, I got to do this. Yeah. I think it hits on all fronts, like presentation, gameplay, everything, the music, everything is so perfect in that game. Do you know I wouldn't this, change one thing about it. Sekiro makes me so <clears throat> wet for Ooh. Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, yep. yes. Because that's the next up, boys. And yep. I hope it shows up at the game. What? I have a feeling. Hope they show a trailer. You some will gameplay. be pleasantly surprised. Show and some I'm gameplay, just thinking, too. I'm like, dude. Dark Souls and Sekiro lore, all that shit is already super fucking dense. You add George R R R R R R Martin, really, really, Martin. really, really, you really add Martin. George, really, really Martin to that, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. What is gonna happen? <laughs> George, really, really Martin. <laughs> so if you're a Dark Souls fan and a Game of Thrones fan, you should just be like, take me to. I feel like I feel like every time they do the Souls games, the story gets a little bit more better and less, not better, but less cryptic and more presented. Yeah. yeah. Instead of this backdrop thing, I feel like Elden Ring. It's gonna be even more than secure, like in the forefront. And the gameplay's dope. I hope so. And you're going to be like, well, this story's sick. And this, the way the universe and the mythos mm -hmm. works is sick. And the gameplay's dope. And it's supposed to be like huge open world. Yeah, that's But what that'll be next year's game of the year. But this year, it's got to be Sekiro. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope so. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I but wish. then next but up, then they, Smash they Bros. Ultimate. In, yeah, they throw in the curveball. Smash is actually my vote for game of the year. It's so good. And I'll tell you why. It's so good. I think too. Sekiro is the best single player game yeah. of the year. Mm -hmm. But there's something about this version of Smash that is going to transcend fighting games. 
Yeah. It's going to be the top fighting game for a very long time. If only they were yeah. separated by single player multiplayer. Yeah. That's how I would uh, vote. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you, though, Pops, because we had friends come over and they don't even play video games. And they're like, dude, let's throw on some Smash Bros. I'm terrible like, at Smash. Mm-hmm. And I'm voting for it to be the best game of the year. Just yeah. because that's the effect that it has. Is that like it? It's just the perfect party game. Mm-hmm. It's the perfect game. It has so game. much variety, mechanics, Re- rosters, ridiculous. Over 100 characters, I'm sure, once they're finally finished releasing all of them. 900 you, songs. 900 you, songs. The and levels. you get the ultimate, the ultimate version of a fighting game. And the, the single player story actually is at like 60 plus hours, like insane. We yeah. never Something beat like it. That. The then, light story, whatever, the world of light. Yeah, and then on top of that, you have like... I think like ten or fifteen different game modes. It's like e- literally everything is in that game. Yeah, Man, they got it all. I, I I want Sekiro to win, but I know not everyone's a fan. So I know I think I'm pretty sure Smash Bros is gonna take it. If this if this whole thing is decided by like just people voting, I think yeah, Smash Bros. Everybody's gonna vote for Smash everybody's Bros. Everybody's favorite characters in there. Whether you got one or two, at least yeah. it's in there. Biggest um, critiques of Smash though. Online's terrible. Online is online is trash. trash. Dude, for a mess. game beyond terrible that is so uh, like required about like good timing and shit like that and spacing and all that. Mm-hmm. You have to. It's it, not acceptable. You mm-hmm. have to better that net code and all that. Nintendo needs to put GGPO in that shit because uh, it's they would at never, this point though, huh? it's too far gone. Yeah, it's been developed never. the way they did it. It's, they would Damn. have to redo the game. It would have to be Damn. a DLC basically. Really? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, wow. it's the infrastructure of the game is just wrong. If the multi, if the online was flawless, oof. If the online was flawless, man, I'd. Shit. It'd, be, and it'd be bad. I'd be playing that shit. game way also, too much. Also, the other critique for being in the game of the year category is a fighting game. Not everyone wants to play a fighting game. Yeah, it's true. It's also got so. that party aspect, though. I think that wins a lot. I think, by and large, it'll get the most votes. Uh, next up is Outer Worlds, which huh? is the Fallout kind of game, right? Yeah. yeah so right. what? Come Ob- again? It's not our style. Obsidian made New Vegas, which is my favorite Fallout, and mm-hmm. they made this game, which is its own thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. I haven't played Outer Worlds. People told me to play it, but I doubt I would like it more than Sekiro, just based on what I've seen. All right. So we're all going to pretty much guess and say Super Smash Bros. is going to win it. I would say Smash would win, but I'm rooting for Sekiro. That's where I am. Yeah, me too. Smash will win. Wish wish it was Sekiro. I'm fine with either of them. But and if Death Stranding wins, I think this is all bullshit. If yes. Death Stranding wins, then yes, it's too much I'm of like, a wild card, man. If there was a different category that was like uniqueness, best indie game, <laughs> you know, best yeah. indie game, I would say probably Death Stranding. Yeah. Best debate, yeah, Death Stranding. Yeah, I don't know. But that's the category for that one. Next up, we got action game. Oh, there's more categories. Oh, <clears throat> shit. Just raffling these off. Yeah, let's just go through these. Apex, Astral Chain, Call of Duty, Devil May Cry 5, Gears 5, and Metro Exodus. So Pops, I wanna... without explanation, who do you think is going to win it? Uh, Probably Modern Warfare. Damon, without explanation, who's going to win it? Call of Duty, of course. If it's an option, it's going to win. And Call of Duty won. Devil May Cry 5 Desert, uh, if I, would, we're speaking, I would vote for Devil May Cry. If we're speaking about straight up action, then hell yeah, Devil May Cry. Because shit's just flying all over the screen and all at once. You'll know what's going on. Devil May Cry, dude. And it's weird. Apex Legends is action game. Yeah, I don't know why that's in the, the category to be Duty. vote. Is an action game more like third, uh, like over the shoulder beat em up I'll shit? This should just them. be first person shooter category what is Fortnite then that's you know? what i'm saying why is apex in this conversation if we're talking about a game that came out what two years ago they don't want Fortnite oh, really? in here <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. when did apex come out like yeah. if, did oh. they come out this year i don't know uh, did it it might have i think come it was out this year i think, I think it, it was did. okay if yeah. it came out this year then i understand but yeah. I, it feels <laughs> i think br games just kind of blur together for me yeah. yeah but then again devil may cry five it came and it went huh yeah, uh, yeah. So, it was, so, everybody played that. We were done. It was single player. We were so, done. I mean, it's all you can really do. Unless you oh, want to play you. the combo mode over and over. Yikes. Uh, the other games, haven't really played them. Don't really know them. Yeah. Gears, Gears is Gears. I don't know what I happened to Gears. Uh, but yeah, I think most people are into COD, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. By and large, yep. it's going to win. Uh, action Adventure. Let's raffle these off. Borderlands, that control game. Death Strand, Resident Evil, Link's Awakening, Sekiro. So there's it another has chance. To be it's it's got to be Sekiro. It has to be. Has it has to be. to be Sekiro. So this is for the best action adventure combining combat with traversal and puzzle. 
So I could no see puzzles. Puzzles. no puzzles. But... I could see Borderlands winning this because Borderlands might be more of a generally acceptable game in terms of beating it from beginning to end versus mm. Sekiro. Man. A lot of people always talk it's about Borderlands. Yeah. It's a popularity contest. I think it'll win, but yeah. it should be Sekiro. Although there's no puzzles. Death Stranding still too weird. I don't know where it. It's the first game strand action strand. game. Where's the best strand, strand game? <laughs> yeah, strand best strand game. Best game. strand game. Sure. Death Stranding wins. Oh man. I, I need to see what this control game is. Yeah, it's getting a lot of love. Uh, art direction. That's where Death Stranding should maybe I would win. Agree with, I would agree with that. Just because it's weird, but I still think Sekiro should win. <clears throat> I would give it to Sekiro. Yeah. Next to Control, Death Stranding. Gris. No, actually, I give it to Legend of Zelda. Link's Awakening. The claymation Cyan style so cute. Sayonara Wild Hearts, Sekiro, and Link's Awakening. Yeah. Bonk. That sh that's probably going to be Death Stranding's category. I, I would direction. say if it had to, or maybe even audio, maybe even audio. I don't know. Now it's just now we're splitting oh, hairs. Yeah. 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 Uh, Link's Awakening has a cool look to it too. It's hard to say, but I Sekiro should Sekiro, win. Sekiro, Sekiro, Sekiro should win. Now. Audio design, COD, oh, Control, Death audio? Strand. Audio? We talking about Gears, some Death Stranding? Resident <laughs> Evil, so Sekiro. Serious, <sighs> so Kojima would hate to lose this category because he's an audiophile. <laughs> yeah. he, he does uncompressed audio for everything. And yeah. you guys like the audio in that game? Um. I was not audio a fan. Audio is hard. I audio was not a fan. Yeah. Dude, the audio in Sekiro, the fucking swords clanging sounds yeah, so yeah. good and clangy and juicy. Dude, when you see uh, the Demon of Hatred for the first time and that that roar. The music of all ah, the boss fights ah, makes you do that noise. Yes. You go, ah, ah. Every single fight makes you do that. So. Also, Call of Duty is notorious for having great audio. Yeah. It's, yeah, the real gun yeah, sounds yeah, yeah. sound like wheel guns and wheel grenades going off. It sounds like a wheel wall. I don't remember the audio being crazy in Resident Evil this, 2. Zombie, it probably was, though. The zombie growls and the and atmospheric. And it's probably very atmospheric, right? Yeah. That's a tough one. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, These, that's so hard for me to pick. Yeah. But Sekiro. Uh, <clears throat> Sekiro. Sekiro's on the board. I got to give it to Sekiro. Definitely not Death Stranding. No, I don't think so. But he's going to be pissed, and Jeff Keighley's running this thing. So. Oh, here we go, guys. How about community support? Let's recognize the game for outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness. Transparency and responsiveness. Huh? What a category. Fortnite. I, you know what? Fortnite I got to give it to Fortnite just because, goddamn, every, every day I wake up, there's some new character in Fortnite. There's some new skin. It's a new season. There's something new in that game. That represents transparency. And we are very transparent. About this. In so, our responsiveness. In our responsiveness. What I found out to about you guys. Final Fantasy fourteen is in order to essentially get max level and get to end game content, you had to play the story mode. This is the MMO Final the Fantasy. The MMO uh, Final Fantasy. The MMO story for this game is just weep trash. Of course. It's terrible. Of course. For an uh -huh. extra $20, you can skip the story mode. <laughs> cool. <laughs> 20 bucks to skip. So you pay buy the skip. game, you pay the monthly subscription fee, and you pay $20 to skip the story. Pay to not play. You know, that might be good community support because the story's so trash. <laughs> I guess so. So maybe that's my vote. But so Fortnite's on the board, so yeah, it would get I, all the votes. Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite. I don't know how the community managers but the, work. But the, the sheer number of people. You put I Fortnite guess. up there, I, I it's going to win. It's going to win. It's going to win. Uh, content creator of the year. Right here. Why, where are we? Right here. Where are we The at? Djibouti Show. Ah. Thank you very ah. much, people. Hey. Thank you. I know we're going up hey. against people like Shroud and hey. Dr. Lupo, but, you know, I think uh, we're an honorable mention at least. It's great that we're nominated. Uh, feels I'm, great. Yeah. Um, have our picture up on the board. Such an honor. It's probably going to be Shroud but, uh, because he jumped to Mixer, and that's a big thing. He's the only, uh, if I had to take a guess. He's the only person I've heard of out of all yeah. these people. They're, that's how people are probably going to vote. Jesus, what a nightmare of a last name. They'll try to say that. Don't even try. Don't even Gretzky. try. <laughs> Don't even. Yeah, Gretzky. <laughs> Esports coach. Do I know any of these guys? Pops, who's going to win? Uh, Hog. Between Damon, who's going to win? Adrian. I might have to give it to Nurai Kane Jang. See, this is where you're all wrong. Uh, it's uh, actually going to be. Who, who, who is it? Come who on, say it? it. Don't keep me in suspense. You Kim. K. Koma. <laughs> <laughs> Jung. Guang. He is a great Ooh. League of Legends coach. Oh, he is I, really oh, great. Shit. Can I change my vote? No, nope. it's too late. It's locked in. Oh, but my boy Zonic over there. Yeah, he's <laughs> really... it's too late, dude. Damn it! Gotta go fast. Uh, esports event. 
It should be Evo, huh? Uh, Evo's there. Evo. Um, Overwatch versus International. I have Evo. a feeling Fortnite World Cup is going to win. Didn't that kid win like oh, 16 that, mil? He won like, yeah, 3 million or something like that. Yeah, I was oh, it was a double digit win. mil he won. I thought it was like a 12 or 16. Of all these events, nah. the only one I watch is Evo. Oh. You didn't, you didn't tune in for the League of Legends Championship 2019? What is this? The IKEA Award? IKEA Kato Weiss? Nope, I'm not voting for that shit. I don't know what the fuck oh, that is. Jibuvo. Actually, could we vote for Jabuvo? Jabuvo. Yes, Jabuvo. Dude. Jabuvo Jabuvo with the other in there. there. Jabuvo, the great Jabuti show. Once a year. Tournament. Mm -hmm. The week before Evo. Jabuvo. Mm -hmm. Esports game of the year. Fortnite, next. Esports game of the year. Fortnite probably win. Probably. Yes. Or, or Counter-Strike. Eh, probably Fortnite. There's so many people, dude. You're not taking into consideration the 10-year-olds, the 8-year-olds. Yeah, yeah. But are they smart enough to sign into this website? <laughs> that's you, the other that's question. Are you question. questioning the intelligence of an 8-year-old to play a game and to register with they, an email? They have smartphones With an days. email. Oh, man. Who's they're, your they're favorite? They're logging in for V-Bucks. Pops is going to win. J Sox, Hawks. baby. Damon is going to win. I got to give it to... Uh, Phil Red Eye Channeler. Oh, that's gonna give it to Red Eye. <laughs> Smash that mug. Smash 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 smashing Red Eye. I hope he Smash it. Yeah, that the, smile. The best esports. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Although Golden Boy's putting up a nice low. Hell yeah. Good shit, Golden What'd Boy. What'd you say, bro? Esports player. Pops, <laughs> Pops, who's gonna win? I know who Simple is, so I'll pick him. Just tell me. Simple. I okay, gotta go with. Perks! Ah! Perks is gonna win, dude. Look at Perks making all that noise, dude. Look at the energy. Ah! He's screaming in his picture. Legal. 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 <laughs> Dude, he's already Legal. popping off, and his hands are still on the keys. Mm -hmm. He's going to win. Guy uh, can throw a lot of stuff in his mouth. Pops is going to win esports team. Uh, team Liquid. Uh, Damon is going to win. Liquid. Team Liquid. Uh, sure. Yeah, Liquid's going to win. Uh, what's the best family game? Ooh. Luigi's Mansion, Ring oh. Fit, Super Mario Maker, Smash, Dude, or um, Yoshi's Crab World. Smash. Nintendo really took this one, didn't they? Smash. They did. They said, don't worry, we're going to win. We don't fucking care which game. I'm actually going to say Super Mario Maker. I got to give it to... Family play, though? Mm. Yeah. I, I get, Or just for kids, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. For the whole family, age appropriate for all family. Uh, I mean, either, oh, Luigi's Mansion, man. the puzzles are pretty difficult. If you were even to give this us. to your, your, your grandma, what's she going to play? Smash? Yeah. She's not going to play Mario. Big Jigglypuff should jump in. All right. She'd throw it out. I think for a family, probably the ring fit bullshit. Well, that's the wild card. Wow. That is the wild card. I don't think people played that. How many fat families are out there, though, Damon? Yeah, and you think fat families are going to vote for that shit? Come on, dude. They're fat not people, going to. Somebody in the family's going to. Vegan families, maybe. Somebody in the family's going to force those fat motherfuckers to play They're going to vote. Nah, dude. They're going to be like, no. I'm not getting up out of my chair. See, Give me the, that the only reason I'd say that over these Mario games is that I've tried to get my family to play Mario games, and they just rage quit. They can't make the first jump. They're done. Okay. They That's got, why I say Smash, because they're just, I'm falling off. Oh, this is great. Yeah, it's you know, a good party game. I mean, losing doesn't feel yeah. like losing in Smash. Party Dude. game, family game. Yeah. Yes. That's why I would say that. Or Yoshi's Crafted World. It could go either way. So cute. Pops, what's the best fighting game? Let's see. Jump Force. Damon, <laughs> Damon. What's the best fighting game? I gotta go with Jump Force, Jump Dude. Force is Are you going me? to Dude, win. if Jump Force wins, that would be amazing. What a kick in the face that Jump Force <laughs> is even on the board. Dude, as he's kicking the Vegeta in the face. Dude, if Jump Force won, I'd be like, man, the Game Awards is just one big meme. Uh, Smash. It, it's got to be Smash. I, I don't know. Dead or Alive 6. Oh, fuck. <laughs> big I, don't remember. I didn't know this game came out. Fuck. Oh, it came all right. Oh, it came. <laughs> it came all Guys, right. what about the freshest indie game presented by Subway? Dude, Subway Eat Fresh. Get the hot play, foot long. Dude, play fresh. Recognizing new independent studio that released its first game. Oh, its first game. Yeah. Uh, okay. Goose game. Oh, so goose I'm biased. Game. I gotta uh, go goose game. I love Slay the Spire. It's not for everyone, and that's why it's not gonna win. Card game. But it is. Is a it? Ton of fun. Yeah. It's a card rogue like game. card game. Card game. Pedro. Yep. My friend Pedro. We didn't beat that though. Oh, I didn't even it's see cool, that though. one. It's oh cool. shit. Yeah. We should. It's uh, fun. I, I can't would, believe we played Goose Game instead. I would. Yeah, I would love to change my vote, but I voted for Goose Game. Goose I game would was not cool, be surprised if Goose Game wins. It was so popular, because and you know meme. what? When we played it, I wasn't that impressed. I was me either. 
It was a uh, filler con. It was easy content for a lot of streamers, yeah. I think, because it's like, oh, I'm a ghost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There were some funny moments, but as a whole game, I'd much rather sit down and play Pedro. Mm -hmm. That game's dope. Or Outer Worlds, my What that. about game direction? Or, that's Outer Wilds. Never mind. Outer Wilds. Yeah, I, the other. I, yeah, not sorry. Worlds. Sorry. Get it right. My bad. There's three games that are Outer something with a W that came out in the same month. <laughs> sorry. Don't you guys fuck this up. Professional streamer, by the way. <laughs> and the uh, video game goes to Outer Worlds. <laughs> Or is that out of wows? Oh. oh, boys, who's going to win game direction? Miyazaki versus Hideo Kojima. In a oh, fish fight battle. <laughs> I can we fight to the death. I guarantee you. Death Stranding. Death Stranding is going to win this. Death Stranding. Death Stranding is going to win Because it's for creative vision and innovation. I got to say, even though I don't agree with what direction the game went, <laughs> <laughs> the game direction for Death Stranding was Was it great. innovative, though? It was I mean, it's its own it's strand ahead game. Of its, time. it's its own strand game. And plus, <laughs> Jeff Keighley is going to be like, I don't give a shit what these fucking folks <laughs> think. I'm just going to fucking vote for this myself. And yeah, just take the card and next one, Death Stranding is the winner. Yeah. Uh, it'll win. We're not giving enough credit to this control game, obviously. It's in every category. It deserves category. a playthrough, apparently. We got to see a trailer. That or this is how they are advertising this game. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Well, hey, we'll yeah. work out a deal with you. Your game won't win yeah. anything, yeah. but it'll be nominated. Yeah. Wait a minute, sure. this Control game came out last week. Hey, How wait a minute. Fuck <laughs> this game what? says it was directed what? and produced by Jeff Keighley. <laughs> what a conflict of interest. Fuck the fuck it's my award show i'll dictate how it goes it won everything it swept the competition <laughs> guys what about games that had an impact that were thought provoking and had a pro social <laughs> meaning or message <laughs> what pro social pro social <laughs> what, is that? what does that even mean uh, games are pro social now I don't, I don't, what does that even mean I you know what it. guys i learned a valuable lesson playing my video game about social constructs <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want any of them to win. Um, we all lose, apparently. I think Death Stranding should be up there. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think Death Stranding should uh, win Impact because that had an impact for sure. Provoking. Uh, Life is Strange too. It's I'm the gonna only say game that I Life is Strange is the I'm most popular because right? the only thought it made me provoke was what the fuck am I playing? The fuck? What the <laughs> fuck is the this? most what the fuck game of the year? <laughs> yeah. That's Life the new is title. Strange too. Life is Strange. All right, guys, Independy, what's gonna win? Oh, probably Outer Worlds. Baba is you, Disco Elysium. Well, that's Outer Wilds again. I got debated. It's Outer gonna Wild. be Katana Zero. For Katana me. Zero was really cool. Was I liked cool. it a lot. It was the coolest looking one. It was like a really well done pixel game. Baba is okay. you looks like trash. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that game. We did like one stream episode of this, yeah. and it was like, oh, this is a cool artsy game. Great but, art style. Mm, very much a game you'd want to put your headphones on, blast it, yeah. and chill out and play a dope. <laughs> 2D fighting pixel game. When Gaben blesses you with the stream sale, you pick that game up. Oh, that's you. a two dollar buy. Those. It's a flash sale. That's game. a five dollar buy, a hundred percent. Yeah, mobile game. What's gonna win? What? <sighs> Call of Duty, probably. I heard nothing but amazing things. Yeah, I mobile hear Call of Duty is actually pretty good on mobile. I've not heard of any of the other games. I don't play mobile game. I don't know any of these I'm games. I'm surprised Ooh. Mario Kart Tour is not on there because that's my. Is favorite. it officially released or it's still in beta? I've been playing it. I've been playing it, too. Is it still it. in beta? I don't know. I've been I, playing it. I, okay. I think I'm it is. It. I think that might be the... And then... <clears throat> depends on when shit comes out, too. I uh, think Mario Kart Tour is the best. Call of Duty. Uh, that's probably the game probably I would Call play of Duty. in this I, game. Listen, well, the only thing they need to do with Mario Kart Tour is they need to make it like you could set real difficulty and the bots mm. play like they do on console. Real CCs. You can. It's, you can. I, every time I play it, it's I'm so far ahead in first place. <laughs> it's like really hard to change the speed, but you can. I'll show you how to do it. And like but. when I play Mario Kart 8... And I put even if I put on you know extra hard, you're zooming. I'll get second, <laughs> third. I'll get third, fourth place sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the fucking app, I'm always first place. I'm like, this game's easy. Yeah. If you, I like, wish it was hard. If it's yeah. anything other than 150 CC, it's it's pretty easy. Do yeah. you think they're gonna make a hard mobile game though? I don't know, dude. Call of Duty keeps me on my toes, dog. <laughs> Uh, multiplayer game. What's gonna win it, boys? Tetris. Tetris ninety nine. Obviously, Tetris ninety nine. Ladies and gentlemen. Party like uh, Tetris nine. I hate the uh, the mechanics of Apex. Uh, Borderlands three, maybe. Modern Warfare probably deserves it, and Division two. I don't know who plays that. Modern Warfare. Call of Duty's gonna win. Uh, narrative game. A game with the best narrative. God damn, there's Stranding. a lot of categories. Death Stranding. This might be the one where Control wins. I don't know what we need. To, we really gotta watch trailers. What does narrative even mean? 
outstanding storytelling. Uh, storytelling. Uh, the storytelling in Death Stranding sucks. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's true. You, you just talk to it's good for the first, NPCs. It's good for the first th six hour movie you watch, and then you play the game for 12 hours and yeah. nothing happens. Yeah, you just watch uh, Norton Reese take shits for 20 hours. He drinks Monster. That's pretty entertaining to me. That's good narrative, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, What's I, he shitting out if he's drinking nothing but Monsters? That green goo that you throw at the Monsters. The diarrhea bombs. Oh, and he's uh, and he's eating those little maggots too. I yep. guess. Yeah, little uh, dank little dead bodies. Those little butt bugs. Ongoing game, the best game that's still going. Is that <laughs> it, what it means? It can't quit. That's ongoing content. Well, I think Fortnite needs Fortnite. to win that one. Fortnite will win. The game that just won't stop. Yeah. Yeah, probably Fortnite. Maybe Siege. Rainbow Six Siege. I still have oh, a strong following. Rainbow Six is pretty big. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe. Performance. Oh, the best actor in a game. Best actor, Norman Reed. Is that something that they even, oh, they even want? Do they uh, go up on stage going? It's it has to one hundred percent be Norman Reedus. Yeah, it has to be. He's gonna go yeah. up on stage and be like, thank you, everyone. I want. I don't know anyone. No one else game. really sticks out. I mean, I mean Mads, but Mads, Norman obviously. was the protagonist, and he yeah. was in it, and he's. And we've been seeing his face everywhere. If you had to vote, you would just go, "Oh, that guy, yeah. I know him." Norman Reedus' oh, face. The Walking Dead. Walking yeah. Dead. The Walking yeah. Dead. Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, be true. His face has been in like every video game convention since like 2017. Sorry, Matthew Porterita. Oh, come but, on. Uh, Pops, I tried. It's not going to happen. Pops, I tried to portray my character to the best of my ability. Good luck next year. Role-playing game. The best <laughs> RPG of the year goes Kingdom to Hearts yes. 3. Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Hearts 3. 3. Oh, 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 finally, and, we got dude, the voice! Dude, if, it, if that game wins, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> Monster Hunter. Hey, Monster Hunter. That's a DLC though. That's not the full game. Well, I it's think Iceborne. With rich okay. player character and customization. I don't know how, how is Final Fantasy 14 in this list? Wait, wait, guys, including a massively <laughs> multiplayer experience. Can you hear that? It's me shuffling money around. That's what wow, that, that's three dollars shuffling. Three dollars shuffling. Count, around. Counting all three of those dollars. Uh Kingdom Hearts is gonna win this just because people Fandom. know this game. But know. Monster Hunter's probably better. I'll say that. Score and music goes to. Devil may cry. The devil inside. The devil, devil inside. inside. The darkness the dark inside. Guy. The devil inside. I heard the me. cadence of Hyrule is pretty dope. I picked that one. Uh, Death Stranding is just all the same music. Just it's probably Death Stranding's Zelda. soundtrack sucks. It's all the same song. It's just sad. Sad shower There's songs. There's not that Metal Gear Solid theme. There's I nothing wish. that grabs your balls and says, you're playing a fucking video game. Wake up. Yeah. I, yeah, I'll probably and say I the cadence that. of Hyrule from what I've seen in little bits that I've heard. You think that's going to get the votes, though? Maybe Kingdom. No, maybe I don't know. This one's maybe tricky. It's gonna cry. be. You know what? What am I saying? It's gonna be Kingdom Hearts three. Talking about things, things, things. I think Devil May Cry's gonna win this. Me. Devil May Cry. Devil you May think Cry. so? Devil May Cry soundtrack's Just, actually fucking sick as fuck. Yeah, it was oh, pretty really? good. It's, it's hype oh, as fuck. Okay. Type stuff. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't know. That one I'm gonna leave up in the air. Sports racing game, obviously. Crash <laughs> Team Racing. Crash Nitro Fuel. Wait. Oh, it's the only oh, one we played. It's the only one that's not realistic. <laughs> only one we played. I thought this was like racing only, and then there's a soccer game. I'm like, what the? <laughs> yeah, it's weird that FIFA's up there with nothing but. Uh, oh no, uh, there's the two other soccer FIFA games. Game. Yeah, two FIFA. Yeah, it is a racing game. The first the person to get their ball into the goal. Non FIFA True. soccer. Yes. Um, FIFA's probably gonna win this. Yeah, FIFA's yeah. pretty damn big. FIFA's, FIFA's probably big. gonna win that. FIFA's big. Wakanda. Uh, best strategy game. These are. RTS games? Yeah. These oh, are what I call uh, boring oh, as fuck. This is what I call trash. This is the, this is the category I skip this over. This the boomer yeah, no, I, don't, I don't play any games yeah, this like is this. this is boomer talk. I'm not even going to vote. I heard the Fire Emblem one's good. <laughs> I will keep my vote. Yeah, good day. I'll save it for something else. Good day to you, I sir. I think that it's between the Fire Emblem and the an Anus 1800. It's supposed to be good. Anio? Best VR game. <sighs> Beat Saber. Beat Saber's Probably popular, it. though. I hear Asgard's it. really good. I hear. It's I don't even really know what that is. Good. Is that an RPG? Yeah, never heard uh, of it. Yeah, it's basically wow. like if they took uh, Blade and Sorcery and made an RPG <laughs> game out of it. Guys, huh. don't forget, after you're done voting for all these games, get out there, be social. Okay? Well, there it is. We'll see. We'll see. We'll leave it at that. We'll see. I'm looking forward to the Game of Year, uh, Game Awards. We It's now like the reoccurring <clears throat> yearly tradition now. Mm -hmm. I like it just, just because we get to co-stream that shit live. Watch it with you guys yeah. live, so don't miss it. Bring what, your what, what, it on what, Twitch live. What, what day is that? Uh, I got to look at the calendar right here. Looking the, at my calendar. It should be the 10th. The 12th. 12th, I'm sorry. 5 o'clock. The 12th. Pacific. 
December 12th, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. People. Watch Jeff Keeley chill out to Hideo Kojima for four uh, hours. Yep. <laughs> and uh, every year something cringy happens, so it's fun. That's to why watch. it's fun. So something and uh, premieres, new games. New, yeah, that's the wor- that's oh, yeah, the reason why you watch and, and new games. That's yeah. the real reason to watch. All right. Uh, so we got uh, Patreon. Ever, ever it's question. that time. Yo, shout out to Ibert, patrons. Ibert. Get, get your uh, Q&As in there. Patrons, you the best. You ask us questions. You already know what it is. These are the questions from last week's podcast, so we answered them now. And the first one comes from my boy Straight Hype. He says, what's the story behind this? G4, baby. Those are the Attack. days. Attack on the show. Wow. This little bumper is good. Who's who on YouTube? Someone ate spaghetti in the shower again. Today on the Who's What with the Who Where for uh, YouTube, Djibouti Dubs. Filling me, I'd live that. Nice, dude. You killed. Look at the eyes. Look at those piercing eyes. Look at that point. The curvature of the finger. Look at that, dude. Nice box. Like the headphones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what's the story behind this uh, G4 interview? What's the story behind this? I forgot how this happened. I think I just got an email and it was like, yo, we're doing this segment uh, for jobs that don't suck. Or was that the other thing? No, this is, that this was is, MTV. Yeah, that was MTV. MTV. This yeah. is uh, G4. God damn, this one's even older, dude. Ew, I just had I uh, a little I think this chin came fuzz. out like after they've like showcased your video like three times. Yeah, was they showcased this? it a few times and then they hit me up and they said, come on out, we'll do a thing. And I was like, really? They're like, yep. And I was like, cool. Is this the time that I went with you? Or this is before that. I think it's before that. Oh wow! Yeah, this is bef- this is the very first time. Yeah, hold on, I'm trying to remember. I think I was yeah, I was by myself for this. Mm-hmm. I think Dad drove me. I think Dad dropped did. me off, and then I might have drove there. I don't know. I think I drove there. I was by myself. Uh, a little chin hair. <clears throat> Oh man, yeah. You look like I'm uh, trying to remember because it was two times I went in for them. But Justin this Timberlake was, a little bit. This is the first, and uh, God damn, is this old man? Holy shit! Yeah, I had the ramen hair. It was <laughs> my hair was out of control, dude. Hey, I feel you. I need yeah, to find. Tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, I feel you. I need to find pictures of like <laughs> when I was growing it out like that. It was so <laughs> tight. The dude, curls I... were so weird and frizzed out. I don't know what happened. Like puberty went through like a second phase. I remember just that. hit my hair. I like, remember boom. that. And then one day I just went, Justin, I'm gonna take you to my barber shop, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. And I got a real haircut and I never looked back. But <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I had like the curls around the ears. That's yeah. how bad it was. Yeah. Oh, so bad. <laughs> little little Jewish uh twirlies. <laughs> yeah. You were orthodox. I put on a nice little shirt. This is the the two point logo we oh, had. Oh, I remember redoing that logo like five times. Three times, but this is the second <laughs> version of it. Uh, it's cleaned up. It was a little bit better. I was glad I at least nice. glad I at least had the three O's gone um, for this. They did this and met the producer lady. She sat with me and asked me questions, and then it was tricky because I think it was a whole lot of answer this in a statement, not as an answer. Oh, okay, you have to go. My favorite thing is, yeah. What's your favorite color? Don't just give me yes my or favorite no. color is. So I'm yeah. like, fuck. I'm nervous. There's fucking lights on you. It was like I, I think I went there and I met. Um, I don't Kevin. think I met anybody because this is Kevin and what's her face? Uh, Olivia Munn. No. Oh, the, it's the other the one. Other one. <laughs> the other she one. She does the, the VO. You might recognize the Justin one. Davison's voice from the outlandish infomercial spoof. That voice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I remember going in. And then they looked at me like, oh, God, this guy looks like he never sleeps. Get him in makeup, stat. And I was like, makeup? I don't wear makeup. And then there's like, I was like, Jesus, this is a lot. Um, And then uh, you realize it's because the lady was like, well, it's the camera. It's going to show everything. So every flaw in your face you're gonna want this is like the best i've ever looked in my life you look good here for, uh, i might bring out the rouge again boys because <laughs> hey, i look good in there girl. Girl. That ladies i get it they're like jesus christ does this kid ever fucking sleep get him some powder on that face and i was like damn i remember everybody saw i was like you look really good i was like what can i say yeah, <laughs> rouge I brings out my good side boys I think I might make a permanent change. Or that primer. <laughs> yeah, prime me up. <laughs> if you've slapped a hooker, you've slapped a chop. It's the same. This YouTuber story began four years ago when Justin and his friends sat around a TV set, muting commercials and ad libs. Oh, oh my God. Dub. Of all the dubs, that one? 
Mr. Valentine. For them. The legendary Billy Mays came on, so I had to dub it right then and there. Billy Mays here with another fantastic oh, product. Oh, so rough. My friends thought it was so fun. I like that they use, like, a, you down with OPP? Yeah. Kind of back. <laughs> yeah, nice little hip track. Nice, dude. Ew, I was rocking chin hair only. It was not a good look for me. Hey, what's no. wrong with that? I think you look for adorable. Oh, okay. I think for you me. look fantastic. adorable. Oh, yuck, dude. I hate it. My friends thought that ramen it was so hair. funny. They said, you have to upload that. And I thought it was a really Look dumb... at the ramen hair, dude. <laughs> what was going on with my hair? Look at the makeup on this guy. Hey, man, that's a good look. This guy is handsome. Who the <laughs> fuck is this? Idea, but I went ahead and did it. So I was walking around in high school, and I find out that it was featured on G4's Attack of the Show, and I have 300,000 views. What? Let's Damn! Just... Bam! 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 Overnight is life with G. Bam! Okay, wow. so this was so Banu was music? half a million. <laughs> that music though, and I have 300,000 views. But nice. striking YouTube gold. Well, mm, fucking uh, do the hump. That was yeah. fucking the do it, baby. Yeah, do the hump, do hump. Okay, oh, now Justin, dance with me. <laughs> My name is Justin. <laughs> wow. So. But striking YouTube. I got makeup on and I'm down to get the friction on. But noodles to at gold half a million views on this when this was aired. Ten million right now. Holy Fucking shit. shit. That's crazy. Ten million boys. Well, that was three weeks ago. It says. Oh man, look at that. Uh, the old Billy drawing. The old, the old, the old, the old layout for oh, YouTube. Yes. And so oh, man, I miss old YouTube. Whoa. Oh, the good old days. I miss old YouTube. Wow, they didn't claim dude. everything back when then. Djibouti Dubs was born. The name Djibouti is just something I made up when I was little. Like, you'd be playing basketball, you'd make the three. Just Djibouti. And it's always been, like, my gamer tag. Since then, Djibouti Dubs. My gamer tag. Has gained okay. traction with a steady okay. increase in YouTube Fox, subscribers. Fox, 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 Fox. Staggering numbers of video views. <laughs> <laughs> it's got it. And several appearances. <laughs> yeah, this girl, Sarah, some no. That was the other one. Uh, she's, I forget. She's it. no Olivia. Scuffed Olivia Munn. She's no Olivia. Shouts to Kevin. He put in a lot of good words for your boys. I think he was a part of that producer team where they would check out around yeah. the net videos, and oh, they cool. always gave us love. Dude, Kevin's dope. Hey, he's a good guy. By YouTuber. I wonder what he's doing nowadays. Uh, Olivia <laughs> Munn kind of blew up, but what happened to Kevin? Uh, Kevin got I think he's caught. streaming. Yeah, he yeah, got oh, caught view yeah. botting on Twitch and got banned. He's too good for that. Yeah, he didn't need to do that. That's why he yeah. got that's, banned. But uh, what is he doing now? I don't know what he's doing now. He's but on he's, Mixer. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Kevin Perreira press on yes, Mixer. And four years after his first viral hit, Justin's focus is still on uploading quality comedy. That shit. You gotta find the right video, which can take forever. <laughs> you gotta find that right video. video. You, edit your own cut. you have to write it, improv what you want to say, and record it, and that can take like a week. I'm a one-man band, do all the editing, writing. This is before the, the Triforce was yeah, formed. Was what makes a video ago. the right video? According to Justin, you just know... No one wanted to be a part of this process. <laughs> this process was like a whole day, and it just, no one thought that... Mm -hmm. People, uh, friends would be like, let me come over, it's crazy, you got how many views, let me see it. And then by 10 minutes in... Uh, boy, boy, yeah. bro. why are we laughing? That's something, that we, we don't, that's something that like we barely talk about. But uh, back when we first started doing Djibouti dubs, and Justin would be like, "Yo, I need some like crowd sounds or whatever." We'd invite like friends to come over, and we'd have them do like little background noises and everything. And it would take like all day. And by the time we we finished, they'd be like, "Yo, don't don't hit me up to do don't that again." Me, like, I'm not, that was fun, but I'm not down to do that shit again. Takes too long. <laughs> so yeah. When you see it. The inspiration comes from the videos themselves. You got to jizzle, banoodle, the sticky buddy. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, wow, this That's came out. What I'm talking about. Wow. It's it's crazy to see that these make it to TV and people actually want to buy them. So that's reason enough to want to make fun of them. Oh <laughs> man, I don't know how much longer <laughs> I can keep it going. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Blasted oh, flexer, dude. Booty. And infomercial personalities like Anthony Sullivan and the late Billy Mays usually take the brunt of the dub. I never had the privilege of meeting Billy Mays, but I had the honor of meeting Anthony I Sullivan. I did meet Anthony. He's really cool. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect. I thought like it's him and five buddy. other British guys were going to come out with crowbars and like break my legs because I've been making fun of him for so long. Sullying me with a, oh, excuse me, I've got some pussy It's so hard me. talking with these, these lights on your face. Oh yeah, you seem to kind of look down like because the lady's sitting there. She's like right on. She looks like she's just complete darkness. Yeah, yeah. You mm -hmm. see an outline of a person. She's behind with the a lights. huge light in your face, yeah. and you're just like, 
Yeah, it's cool, man. Jesus. Sully here with the... Oh. Oh. Excuse me, I've got some pussy hair on me. He was really cool. He said Billy liked him a lot. At first he hated him, but then he learned that they were just a, a spoof. And that, this was back now, like before we were ever house. really on camera or anything like that, too. Yeah. Yes. So we, yeah. were, we, we were very much like... Don't put yeah. me in the spotlight. For the like, longest time, yeah. like, yeah. Justin did not want to face to Djibouti Dubs. No. Yeah. yeah. But then they put that rouge on, boy. <laughs> Lady yeah. saw it. That little Mulan rouge, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fucking got my eyelashes right, and boom, I'm oh, in. Ladies, we get it. Looking to the future, Justin has no plans of stopping this dub delirium. And for all you aspiring YouTubers, Justin has some advice. Ooh. For everyone trying to break into the YouTube space, don't do viral. it. Yeah, don't, <laughs> stop. Stop. don't do it. Stop. Get a real job. <laughs> Reconsider everything. I have to say, you got to be sincere. You got to make videos because they're fun, not because you want to be famous. You got to try to create those timeless moments that people want to read. There's so much crap out there at the time. <laughs> too this yeah. was like the reply girls was a pandemic mm-hmm. and shit like yeah, that i th- think this was like top youtube poop days yeah we'd see like a lot of people kind of shit. you could tell that they're like i want to be famous mm-hmm. and youtube must be easy way to do that yeah Djibouti jumps <laughs> god damn that bit still still holds up <laughs> rip attack of the show <laughs> Hey, yeah, we got last was... attack of the show. Yes! That hey, was we did it. that. You know what I think after when I left? I think on my way out, like, I got to, like, want... She showed me around the studio, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, cool. And I got to, like, go in the room where they were filming yeah. an episode. And it was... Uh, I think it was... I don't think it was Kevin. I think it was the other guy. Hardwick, I think. Chris. I don't know. I Chris Hardwick. So. I remember the time. It might have been when me and you. Time. Yeah, it might have been me and you, actually. Because yeah. I remember. Because I think we... I was in on a day where they weren't doing shit, and it was like she was just trying to fill segments. That so was her there. job. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there was a time where we actually went in and they were filming it. Yeah, because we I were remember. in the background. Like, cause, yeah. like, they had the audience fill. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. yeah. And we went, there's fucking nobody there. It's just like Dude, us it standing behind the camera. There's not like, a lot of people in there. What the hell? Yeah. Not a lot of people. Let's get it. And it sounds kind of like that, too, when you watch the show. Yeah. yeah. They'd be like, so, mm-hmm. Pixar is a new DVD combo. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. They yeah. Were, yes. It was just a trip after, like, all that time you thought. For whatever reason, it was, like, in front of a studio audience or some shit like that. And there's, like, three producers that are just, like, making those noise going, woo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But <laughs> seemed like a cool place to work, for sure. It was sick. We got, I mean, you got to shake hands with Chris Hardwick, right? Yeah, yeah. Chris was there. He's cool. He's a little short guy, but he's yeah. cool. I think that time I just got to like see the set and like wander around. That was so long ago, dude. Wow. That was a long time ago. But yeah, that's the story behind that one, Straight Hype. Thanks for pulling out that old relic. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for How saving hell? that one, huh? How the hell do you have the link for that, Straight I've Hype? I've been holding on to this one for a while. I've been saving that one. Yeah, Appreciate dude. it, man. The next, Thank you, dude. The next question comes from uh, Pines. Pinesy Pines? I think I said it right last time. I forgot. Pinesy. Uh, good day. Uh, if you could VR a game, excluding Half-Life, and it was uh, perfect past or future, what would it be? Uh, me, I'd say GTA or Battlefield. Cheers mm-hmm. for the charity stream, too. You boys should be proud of everyone. Or you boys should be very proud, and thanks to everyone that donated. Right. Uh, I appreciate those kind words. All right, dude. Thank you, man. Hell yes. Uh, if I could VR a game. And it was perfect. Sekiro. Wow. Oh, how really? sick would that be, dude? That'd if be you, had to, idea. if you had to do like perfectly positioned parries. Oh my god. You not only in like the timing, but like where yeah. you do it and how you hold the that would be sick. Do you guys remember that um that Star Wars game that's in like the arcades where you had to yeah. lightsaber yeah. fight yeah. Darth yeah. Yeah. Dude, if it was like that but in Sekiro. Mm-hmm. They have that Star Wars Sheesh. Darth Vader Immortal VR. Yeah, it's on PSVR. But I don't know how good that is. Um, but that's what I would do. I was gonna say Zelda, Zelda, Ooh, like a yeah. solid RPG. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that would be good. I think, it, but it's also touching on that Sekiro kind of a story, of a game, right? Sword games with stories yeah. are pretty much um, gonna be my number one. You know what game I think would be fucking perfect for VR was maybe like a Metroid game, kind of like a yeah, Metroid, Metroid Prime. Prime. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, one that'd be really sick too. That would be like the only way I'd want to play a Metroid Prime game. That would be fucking dope. Also, yeah. I think Nintendo VR. I think mm-hmm. VR games more multiplayer because there's something hilarious about mul- people meeting in VR, and you're both in the constraints of that. Like when we bumped into people in um, Pavlov, there's something funny that I could just grab the knife off of your belt 
stab you. And they'd be like, hey, stop that. <laughs> Give it back. You know, I, I think more multiplayer needs to happen too. And VR chat's yeah. hilarious, right? So more social experiments as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Appreciate it, That's man. Yo, good, thanks for the question. Thank question. you, thank you, thank you. Aaron Bland coming in. Uh, if you could go back in time and give your younger self one piece of advice, what would it be? Ooh. I always loved this question for people I looked up to in like interviews. But like, what would they give their? What would they do? Yeah. Uh, and most I'm, of them would always be like, nothing. I wouldn't want to lead myself <laughs> astray. Yeah, yeah okay. right. All right. Hell no, sure. I'd be like, here's gonna win is the Super Bowl winner next year. I'd be year. like, here's a lot of numbers for this year. Here's the quickest way to get laid. Here's how to do this. Here's how to do this. Mm. <laughs> um. Stop with the ramen hair. Go get a haircut. There you go. Get yourself a fresh fade. Younger. Help you know, yourself out. I wish there was an age <laughs> that you gave us. Younger. Yeah, that could be anything. Right? <sighs> I'll just say teens. Sure. Okay. Your high school self. So I'd say stop with the hair. Go get a haircut. That'd mm. be my biggest piece of advice. That'd be your biggest thing? I. Let me think. Pops, you got something? Yeah, I'd be like, I'm Ooh. from the future. Huh. There's time travel now, oh, yeah, so P even oh, yeah, if you PK, fuck her, PK, 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 what the? <laughs> yeah, this is what it will turn out if you keep doing what you're doing. This is the future. So, so get it together. <laughs> also, if I'd be like, hey, there's time travel, so make as many mistakes as you want. You just go back and tell your past self to yeah. fix it. Shit. Yeah, I'd, be telling, I'd be telling myself those lotto numbers, man. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be breaking in this cash. It would be hard to give yourself real advice because yeah. when you were younger, you were the way you were. So even if you're like, yeah. start dressing like this, start talking to girls like this, and start working hard like this, you're going to be like, man, I'm only 14. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. We would have been like, know. we'd be like, start yeah. going to the gym, start building up some muscles, start eating better. You'd be like, uh, yeah. Thank you. I just want to go to school and eat hot Cheetos. No. Oh. Yeah. Man. No. I want to play World of Warcraft. No. That's what I would be doing. I wouldn't change. Yeah. Let me think. I guess it'd be on, hard to get through to that kid. I guess on some corny shit, if I had to tell myself anything just for any age, if you're trying to tell somebody younger, I feel like it's some good advice. Just tell yourself to not don't be afraid to be yourself. Be who you are, especially like when you're younger. Uh -huh. It's on just some some corny after school special type of shit. Just because when you're younger, yeah. you're always trying to fit in with people. You don't really know who you are. Uh, just figure out who you are first, and don't be afraid to be yourself. I guess. There it is. There it is. There you go. Hey, man. With that that's, that's your advice for anybody. You're welcome. But yeah, it would also be don't panic so much about time because I think time's so short and small, and your world and your universe is so small. Like when one thing goes yeah. wrong, when you're like 14 or 15 or. 18 it's like the world is over mm -hmm. dude you have so many chances to just completely re reset yeah you could just reset yeah. tomorrow and school feels so long right but yeah, if you look those... back like four years dude four years flies by i'd also dude. tell myself don't worry so much about the school like the college stuff god that is so stressful dude. yeah yeah i remember i was so worried about oh, school yeah. i didn't know what school to go to <laughs> the money thing was so insane and then once I was in the school that I wanted to be at, everybody at the school, all the other students were always talking about the money. And they're always like, are we all doing this? Are we all making a smart decision? And then there was so much panic in the classroom with the other. We couldn't even enjoy the classes. Yeah. We were doing like cool art classes. Yeah. And all anybody would talk about is the money and the debt. And it was so discouraging. And I remember it was just a nightmare just trying to yeah. sleep. And you're like doing this homework. And then you're like, oh, the money. I'm the debt. Am I making... Dude, it was endless. Mm -hmm. I would tell myself, don't worry about that so much, but enjoy it and learn from it. And every yeah. day is a new day. And just take it as you go because a lot of people backed out of school. But even the time that you were there, you at least learned something. And that helped you get to everything helps you get to the next thing. Whether you, you back out or you stay or you move on, you learn something. And you, you figure it out. Mm -hmm. And like the friends of mine who stayed, hey, they stayed. And they got some debt, but they got the job they wanted. Mm -hmm. Usually, if they went that route, they worked hard enough to stay. And the people who backed out, they usually got into something else that they were like, wow, this is way cooler. I'm glad I left. Yeah. So no one really looked back like, fuck, man, I fucked up. I really so. wish someone was straightforward in, in like, the hall, uh, like the high school time and being like, they put so much pressure on college. Yes. And I'd have been like, college isn't for everyone. They really need to stress that. Because it's not like the generation before us. Yeah, yeah. no, it's not. And so much shit is just on the internet too. Because I know mm -hmm. plenty, plenty of people that a either dropped out or did not go to college who are doing very successful. They just worked hard. Yeah. Or if people did graduate college, they 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 got all this debt 
and they're not doing that great. Yeah. <laughs> like they, they kind of regret doing the, the thing that they did, that they wanted to do. It can go you so know. many different ways. So the best Which, way is yeah. just probably go f- the best way for yourself. confuse your, your younger self being like, well, now I'd have no idea what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Yeah. That would probably be more confusing. But, I like yeah. how like our generation though, was like the generation where, I, I mean, it feels like to me anyway, that like, that's when shit started to shift from like, you don't have to go to college because everything started to be online. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like you yeah. could teach yourself. I feel like our generation was like the first generation where that, started that shift started to happen yeah, as that's, opposed to like our parents where it's like no you had to have some kind of college yeah, schooling exactly a lot so. of my education in my college i learned online by just researching it myself and then when i did do college for my degree it just kind of came naturally to me because mm-hmm. i already did the extracurricular stuff because i liked it yeah mm-hmm. yeah so that's what i was that's what i would really try to hone in is don't stress so much you think like you only have so much time and stuff, yeah. dude. People fucking hit the reset button at thirty two. Yeah. Thirty three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your twenties last so fucking long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the w- thing I would stress is like learn skills. Try and a lot of people we always get that. We always get people like, I don't know what I want to do. I think in those twenties or those teens, those twenties, those early years, you gotta try so many different things. That way you know what you like and you know what you don't like. Yeah. Because people go, yeah. I don't know what I like. You gotta try a million different things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, Put yourself out there. It's very true because I was one of those people that thought the same thing. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know what my passion was. And I always thought that it would just be one of those things where it would just reveal itself to me. And I'll yeah. just, one of these days, I'll a just know. Moment. I'm just going to wake up and I'm just going to know what I want to yeah. do. And it, it never happens like mm-hmm. that. <clears throat> so you have to go out and you just got to try, like Justin said, all these different things until you find one that you like the most. Yeah. Just find what you like the most, not the best, the most. Yeah. <laughs> the, what yeah. I would even further go further with that. Find what you like and then what you're also good at. And then yeah, try to yeah, find a marriage too. between the two. Like, I was good with computers. I, I built my first computer when I was 13. People thought I was a whiz kid. But for me, I was just like, it's fucking Legos. You mm-hmm. just get the parts and you put it together. It's mm-hmm. that simple. And then someone's like, well, you're good at that. And you also like computers. Why don't you just get a degree in that? Well, yeah, oh, it's that yeah. easy. And yeah. that, that was my eureka moment when someone was like, well, you're good at this and you like it. Do that. Yeah. And yeah. I would say yeah. it works on a bigger scale, even for littler things that you're not even taking into consideration half the time. Like if you're a waiter, you're not just learning like, wow, I really don't like being a waiter, but you're learning like, wow, I really do like working with people. Yeah. Or I really don't skills. like working with people. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. I really do like being diligent and having a place to be. Or mm-hmm. you'd learn, no, I kind of want to do something more at home where I have freedom. You learn so much. So even if you jump into a shitty job or if you're in a shitty job right now, like you could start making decisions on you know on the different levels of things that you like in that world and then when you hop to the next yeah. job then you can compare and contract you get so much new yeah. shit remember like when i finally worked retail i was like wow i really really don't like this i want to get out of here <laughs> i was yeah. like yeah. i Same really for me, yeah. i really don't i work my hardest when it's something i'm interested in true and when i'm not interested in it is hard for me to fake it because the fact that i'm even working with people there in that space was not enough to make me like oh this is cool like mm-hmm. oh yeah that guy's fun to work with i'd be like yeah, he's all right but yeah. i could fucking not be here and love yeah. every second of it mm-hmm. so i always think even if you're take you're just make sure you're always taking steps you're always moving forward even if it's <clears> not like oh fuck the yeah. big decisions made like hey if you need to take you know a semester off or a year off and work some shitty jobs or not even shitty jobs just yeah. jobs and then you bounce <clears> around <throat> jobs you get a higher paying job but wow this higher paying job wasn't as fun as that shitty job actually was Mm -hmm. because i worked with fun people i don't know you you learn all those stuff along the way so that's a lot but that's what i would say if i don't know how much time i have to speak to my (laughs) 13 year old self but that's that's a lot that's a lot to take in that's what we would tell ourselves because i think the best you could be and do what you do best because i think i would just be like all right i'm gonna play world of warcraft now but do we hit to get laid yeah, it's well, like what about the pussy <laughs> about the boobs? How much of that do you actually take in it yeah. for real and process it and act on it? You know what? Probably not much. The I'm fact just like, that fuck you have blonde hair. I'm not listening to a word you say. The fact <laughs> that something went wrong. <laughs> the fact that I wouldn't go back and tell my past self how to get laid speaks to how unimportant that is mm-hmm. in your adulthood. Oh like, yeah, like getting laid <laughs> yeah. doesn't. It's it's great. It's great, but it doesn't matter. But it doesn't make your life better. I remember, and as a young guy, it's hard for you to really rationalize and be like, no, it's not. Dude, Getting away yeah. the best. As a young guy, that's what drove you. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's your main drive. Yeah, yeah. I remember being in my uh, the first job I had at the school I went to, 
and the older classman I was talking to, and he was like, Mr. Cool Guy, hipster dude. And I was like, uh, you know, how many golf wines have you had? I had like my one at the time, and he was like eight. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how so many? How do you? And he's like, and he was like, and I would take back pretty much, I wish like six of them probably didn't happen. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> just so many. Big pog. <laughs> I imagine like eight all. I imagine like eight all at once. Like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. But he was like, he was like almost, I think he was up there. He's probably like 28. I was like 18. Oh, shit. So I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you'll see, dude. This guy fucks. Dude, what's that like? Yeah, I remember being like, what? How? <laughs> like, hey, how, tell how did that happen? <laughs> how did all that just fall into your lap? Uh, How'd you have time? <laughs> Dude, you must so be funny. really tired. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember him telling me some stories, but uh, he was like very, uh, wish a lot of that. I, I remember him being like, I could have easily, like, none of those could have happened. Mm -hmm. I'd totally be way happier of a person. <laughs> and I'd be fine. He's like, one was just a drunk, dumb girl is jumping on it, not even right, and it hurt, yeah, and it yeah. sucked. Yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> sucked. And I was like, ew, oh, like drunk yeah. party stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah, it does yeah. sound kind of. Is that most of them, though? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good chunk. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you only keep the ones that are good. Right. You try. <laughs> uh, Sean. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Pop yeah, Sean AMKR. What up, dude? What up? Uh, question. Uh, What's the one of the strangest stories happenances, uh, happenstance uh, that <laughs> each of you can tell? Uh, <laughs> uh, if not strange, then strange adjacent. Uh, what's clever? Much love to Damon, Just Pops, the best community on the platform. Keep up the great cut that boy owes. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate Thank it, Sean. Uh, strangest what's the story? Strangest story? Well, what does happenstance mean again? Just when things line up coincidentally? Yeah, I think it's kind of coincidental. Happenstance. Uh, it's a fun one. Dude, uh, Happenstance. If not strange, then strange coincidence. adjacent. Yeah, coincidental. Oh, coincidence? Man, hmm. put me on the spot. Coincidental story. Strange adjacent. What's the most know. coincidental? Normally, I try to have my answers locked and loaded, but I didn't see this question. I got a thing off the top of my the head most here. most coincidental story. Strange. Oof. That one's tough, dude. Man. Sheesh. Oh, I got to have to put that on the board. <laughs> Come out next next I week. I think I got a I got a really small one. It just it's, go for it. It, it might help my brain okay. to work through it. It's really, really, really small. It's really quick. But it was when me and Justin were in middle school. Uh, I think it was our lunch break, and Justin was like freaking out because like all of our friends wanted to go play like handball or some shit. But Justin's like, no, I can't. I need to finish my homework before class or whatever. And he was trying to finish his homework at lunch, and so Justin's sitting on the table, and he's like doing his homework as fast as he can or whatever. And this whole, it lasted him the whole lunch. He's doing it the entire time. And he's just like fucking really trying. It's like some math homework or some bullshit. He finally finishes it and he goes, fucking done. All right, let's go play. He picks up his homework from the table. As soon as he picks up his homework from the table, right where he had his fucking homework sitting, this big piece of bird shit just went, like oh. landed right where he was doing it. And we all started cracking up. We're like, dude, if you didn't finish right then and there, that bird would have shat on your homework. That's pretty interesting. That still would have turned it in. <laughs> still yeah. would have turned it in. I would have just turned it but, in. Yeah, super Fuck small. It. Dude, I just remember that from the back of my mind. Like, I remember thinking, like, holy shit. If that, if you would have taken one second longer to finish oh, your homework, you would have got bird shit oh, all man. over it. And I just, ever since I was a kid. That's, That's a pretty a solid little, one. A little funny Fuck. memory dodged that I had. Bullet. Yeah, you do dodge a little shit. Man, <laughs> but, I'm really, uh, yeah. I'm really struggling to come up with one. It's such a specific yeah. type of story where you dodge Strange a bullet. Strange can mean anything. Yeah, dodged a bullet coincidentally. It's so yeah. broad. Damn, I'm really drawing uh, a blank. I'm like trying to just scan my brain. That question's the strangest thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Sean, I, I might have to come up with something yeah, for we'll next, come back next, to next show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have to leave it on the board, and we'll come back to it. And hopefully Damn. I can think of something. Sorry, my Sean, dude. you might have just stumped you your stumped, boys. You stumped us, dude. <laughs> a coincidental story, man. Jesus. Uh, let's see. Who's the next one? Donger? You oh, want this uh, one? the next one. Uh, oh, did we get the per I think I might have copied this without the name. Sorry, whoever asked this one. Uh, but it comes. Or the next one is Play, Watch, Cancel. Mm. The Last of Us 2. Uh. Final Fantasy 7 remake or Breath of the Wild 2. You can play one, 
watch someone else play another, and then you have to cancel the last. Mm. So kind of like Mary Fuck Kill kind of thing, but with video mm. games. I mean, I would play uh, Final. Fi- I would play Final Fantasy. No, you guys think about that. I'm about to see who wrote this I would, question. Right I would play Last of Us. I would watch. No, I don't know if I want to watch or play. They both look so fun. But I know Last of Us is going to be so good. I'll play Last of Us Part 2. I'll watch FF7. I'll have to cancel Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild has been out of the picture for a while anyways, right? Yeah, so I could... Breath of the Wild 2? Wild 2, yeah. Oh, wait. I'm thinking of Breath of Fire. Fuck me. It's Jesus. Breath of the Wild this is way Zelda harder. Game. This is okay, way my harder. Bad. This one comes from my boy Jizzle Dupes. Yo, Jizzle, Jizzle Dupes. Thank, thank you for you the so question, much. man. This is, uh, I thought that was Breath of the Fire. That This makes it way yeah. Do you want me to go? Oh, Breath of the Fire? Fire. This is an old it's JRPG. A, yeah, JRPG. Oh. I was like, that's a strange thing to put <laughs> up there. <laughs> Fuck them. Uh, with me, I'd probably do play Breath of the Wild 2, watch Last of Us Part 2, because it'd probably be like a movie, and then cancel Final Fantasy 7, because your boy don't care about that shit. Yep. I get it. Okay. Um, I would go play Final, uh, Final Fantasy 7. Watch Last of Us and cancel Breath of the Wild 2. Oh, okay. that's so that's brutal. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go tell you why. I've been waiting for Final Fantasy 7 since I was goddamn nine. Uh, and then Last of Us 2, it's due for the sequel. Uh, but I want to play Final Fantasy 7 more. And then Breath of the Wild 2 just got announced. So just by time, it, it has to get the sacrifice. It's mm. uh it's not much, it's not as much of a meme as the other two in my mind. Mm-hmm. I might have to copy you almost for the reason that I wonder. I'm almost betting. I'm I'm betting that. Well, Final Fantasy VII is almost like that. I have to see how it turns out. Right. I just have to. I have to. Last of Us Two. I know it's going to be a masterpiece. And Breath of the Wild. There's room for error. There's True. always room for error with Nintendo. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think Nintendo will do some Nintendo and shit. Plus, there's yeah. a chance. Yeah. I hope not, but there's a chance they would do some Nintendo. And Breath shit. of the Wild stands alone as a great game. Oh, so it good. doesn't necessarily need. A sequel. Sure. That's that's a good another good reason. But thank you. Uh Jizzle, right? Thank you, Jizzle. Thanks, Jizzle yep. Dupes. Uh sweet chili uh coming in. Uh Vaz, what is the most embarrassing thing Louie or even you guys have done in public? Ah, uh, now this question is very easy to answer. Mm. <laughs> God, I Jesus mean, if we're Christ. talking about just Louie, I got tons of them. Yeah, I can go in Louie's stories all day. Uh, most the man has no shame, it's great. Most embarrassing. He'll do anything. Um mm, 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 mm. I think one time Louie when he was a small little Louie, he was a part of a uh, play in front of a large crowd of people. I don't think, I'm wondering, was this him though? The pantsing? Was that him that did that? That was him. That, he okay. wasn't the guy that pants, but he was the guy that goes, ha ha. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, well that, point and laugh well, at my story isn't accurate, but I thought there was a part in the scene or the play where this guy comes out in front of a huge crowd of people, goes blah, 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 and he has a line, and then someone had to come out and pants the guy but whoever, and I, I, my memory, I swear I was in the audience watching. And there's my cousin, and he's mm-hmm. up there. His job was to run up and pants the guy, but I guess it wasn't. It was you were sitting else. next to him, yeah. I was sitting next to him. <laughs> uh, yeah, someone else came up, pants the guy, and they're supposed to pull the... Uh, he, he had, like, boxers, like, strapped down. It was clear that they were supposed to pull down some pants. He's wearing some pink boxers. It goes, got, whoa, got, on the play, yeah, but someone it fucking all. yanked it off, and dick and balls came out. In front of a... <laughs> Fucking live audience of like 500 people. And Louie oh. went, ha ha. But yeah, you're I, right. No, he goes, he stands up and goes like Louis would, I see his penis. <laughs> and that's what breaks the audience and they start oh. laughing. <laughs> it was like an Adam Sandler yeah. movie. I was about yeah. to say, that sounds like a scene out of a movie. Louis that one kid, penis. Yeah. And then everybody yeah. starts cracking up. Yep. Uh, Damn, the that's only, brutal. The only other thing that comes to mind when I think of Louis is one time we were at Knott's Berry Farm and there was a guy doing rope tricks on a horse and Louis goes, oh, oh I bet you can't rope, you can't rope shit. And the guy goes, oh yeah, fucking ropes Louis, hog ties him from like 20 yards away on a horse. And Louis's like, oh, fuck, fuck. And we laughed so hard. Mm-hmm. So did all the people around us. Yeah. It was so, oh, it was so good. That, that would be my great. top two that just come to mind. Most uh, embarrassing thing with Louie and me, I think he's told this story on stream, or we both have probably, but uh, one time I brought him to church, we used to have like a little youth night, and it was kind of like, invite your friend kind of thing, and we were hanging out that Friday, and so I happened to tell him, I was like, you want to come with me? He's like, yeah, sure. So this youth night, it happened to be uh, at my church where everybody's hanging out, and for whatever reason, um, people were like sharing stories, and like sharing like traumatic things, and like what what made them come to God, or whatever, so it's a very serious Mm -hmm. setting, right? Mm -hmm. 
And so we've heard like, I don't know how many stories and it's taken forever. So me and Louie start to like get a little bored. We're like poking each other, like trying to make each other laugh. I guess while we're doing this, the girl that's opening up is opening up about some serious shit, some serious trauma. I think she may have been like touched or some shit. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember what it was. But while she's trying to open up to our youth group and tell this story, me and Louie are being little shits, making each other laugh. I don't remember what I did. I made some face or something, but I made Louie just crack up laughing. And it was like her most like saddest part of the story. Oh, man. And so, Louie can't contain laughter. Louie, he can't. Yeah, so, and it's one of those red. things where it's like you're not supposed to laugh, so it's making him laugh even harder. Right. The so he has context. to be quiet. Yeah. yeah. And I knew this, and I'm being an asshole. <laughs> I'm such an asshole in this. Like, I knew this shit was going on, and I'm just, like, instigating it even more. I'm trying to make him laugh even harder. So <laughs> fucked up. But, um, so, yeah, she's, like, trying to, like, tell her story. She's got, like, tears rolling down her face, and Louie's just like... <laughs> Red. <laughs> Red. So my uh, youth instructor was like, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oof. And, like, we're like, wait, leave? And he's like, not leave, but just step outside because this is, you know, this is a little disrespectful. Louis is like, oh, I'm so sorry. He walked out. The second he walked out, dude, you could hear him fucking cracking up through the door. <laughs> yeah. He's just, but like, laughing as hard as uh, he can. Yeah. And it At was that point, so, it made him even more laugh, right? it, Yeah, dude, but it was, I just remember it was so bad because we felt awful. And, like, everybody knew that we weren't laughing at the girl or anything like that. It was just really unfortunate timing. But that story Typical goes Louis. down like legend. For I was just like, dude, I can't believe you were laughing that fucking hard while she was trying to tell her traumatic story. Yeah. He's like, you're a dick for making me laugh that hard. I was like, dude, you got kicked out of church. <laughs> you got kicked out of church. You're Sounds the only Louis. person I've ever met in my life yeah. that has been asked to leave a youth function at a church. That's why his nickname's Lucifer. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I remember. I remember it was Pax, and uh, we were having some drinks with the fans, and this is like our first time we actually had like a fan meetup. And we all got drinks. This is a really short story, but uh, Lou, someone ordered a drink with a cherry in it. Oh, yeah. And a, yeah. it was a fan's, and we're all just having a good time. And Lou goes, oh, cherry. He reaches into the person's drink with his dirty hands, grabs it, and eats it. And then I'm like, you just totally dipped your fingers in this person we just met's drink. And he's like, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I felt so bad for the person because I was like, oh. <laughs> and oh, it's yeah. Louie, who was wearing basketball shorts probably had <laughs> extremely sweaty. dirty hands very sweaty and uh louis would just had louis would always do stuff like that where he's not aware of his surroundings and he's just his natural jovial self a That's hand louis. in your drink's yeah. always just scary too yeah. like, what the fuck did you do to my drink dude <laughs> But yeah, that's, yeah. that's it's like, bad But then too. you see the hand that went in your drink, and then you're like, oh, Poop nail. I need yeah. a new one. Him doing that to fans, like, not that always, but always just being a little bit too much, being yeah. very, very unhinged. Too too, too, too comfortable. Just unhinged that's around people that yeah. Are, yeah. are, like, here to hang out with the Djibouti guys. We're trying to, you know, give everybody enough time and say what's up and meet with everybody. And then you see Louis say yeah. something, and you see people kind of cringe, and you're like... See, that's the thing about Louie, though, is that he's so comfortable with friends and family that he treats everybody like that. So that's yeah. true. And that's, that's, why, that's, you why, that's why you love him. <laughs> <laughs> and even though they cringe, they're like, I love him. Yeah, that's yeah. why I love him. Yeah. But why the fuck did he say that? And you're <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I, mean, like, I know. You're too comfortable to be saying some shit like that. This is a church. This woman's trying to open up here. <laughs> yeah. And all of my grossest <laughs> stories are Louie stories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll save that for a different day. Yeah. Uh, we got plenty of them. Thank you, uh... That was sweet chili. Sweet chili, sweet chili vibes. Pops, you got the burger, boy? Uh, cheeseburger, apocalypse. Nice, dude. Uh, jumping off the Cybertruck discussion, if you could have any futuristic Ooh. car from any movie, TV, game, or whatever, uh, what would you choose? This must be a land-based vehicle. It could not hover. <laughs> uh, it's not a flying car like the Blade Runner cars. I think I we had this before. We might have. I think we had this before. Did we? Okay. Um, I like the it's little a little bit more It must be a land-based yeah. vehicle. I was gonna say, just oh. after watching Star Wars, I'd pick the land speeder, but that hovers. So that hovers. Can't that. hovers. Can't do that. Uh, the car from uh, that they show in the trailer for Cyberpunk looks sick as fuck. It also looks like a Cybertruck. <laughs> so I mean, uh, Cyberpunk you know, car truck. Yeah, it's okay. in the uh, the trailer, the E3 trailer. Um, I mean, I've been going yeah. with the same answer for years. Anybody uh, ever asked me what kind of car I want? I'm not a big car guy, so I always got to go with the Batmobile. I always got to go with the Batmobile. Batmobile's you strong. Know? You know, I think yeah. it's a nice, solid pick. Yeah. Do you know and which it, era of uh, Batmobile? I was just about to specify. I got to go with Arkham Knight Batmobile, which okay. is Batmobile slash tank. Tank mm. hybrid. Because, you know? I mean, who doesn't want a tank? Yeah. Um, I forgot what I picked last time, but I know I picked something good. And I was like, damn, I picked a good one. 
Uh, because it can't hover, though, that really messes me up. I would almost say either the Homer Simpson designed car. I think that's what the <laughs> the the one. I think that's exactly the car. Or <laughs> I think that's exactly what you said last time because I think I reacted the same uh, way last uh, time. Yeah, Rocket or, League car would also be an honorable mention, or but that's a hover car. The Akira motorcycle okay. would be really oh, cool. Shit. Oh, does it have to be? Did I didn't you specify? Say, we didn't say that. Said land vehicle. Land vehicle. Land okay. Vehicle. Okay. Akira's motorcycle is really cool. Well, what about Cloud's mo uh, motorcycle? Cloud's motorcycle Dude, if we're talking is cool. About, I, if we're just talking about that, let me get a segue then. Fuck it. Yeah, just <laughs> whatever, Just dude. get a hoverboard real Hoverboard quick. me, baby. Fuck it. Yeah, I forgot what else I might have picked, but uh, off the top of my head, that sounds pretty cool. I think it's good. <laughs> nice, I got solid, the Akira. Nice, solid pick. Nice. He, said car. he said car, but I'm going to have to bend the rules. And then my boy Taylor, an OG, been watching for a minute. He says, uh, if you guys were suddenly banned from living in California and had to move, where would the new studio be located? Ooh. I love Seattle, man. Seattle's a lot of fun. There was a time where I actually contemplated living in Seattle. Yeah, it's not a I bad was place like, to I, live. I wouldn't mind it. Uh, it's Seattle's very cool. They're green, nice and green. Uh, I think that's tough, when, man. When we all talked about it, though, if we had to move, I think we were all talking about like Texas. Seattle or Texas. Texas I is say like Austin nice specifically, yeah. but I've never been to Austin. So I, yeah, I can't. As much as I want to say Texas, I've never been there, so I can't say for sure. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's like summer, winter, and those other areas that we've been to during PAXs. You know, like yeah. Boston was super cool, but I don't know. It's like in it was, summer or something. I don't know if I'd be like, eh. Yeah. yeah. Plus, we're in we're in like the downtown area where it's like million dollar homes, mm -hmm. billion dollar rentals. Like we'd have to be outside we have to experience it all yeah. we have to be just outside of the areas that are happening yeah, and if i relate it uh relate to whatever spot to like la we never we barely ever go to la so mm -hmm. it's like if we lived in whatever spot it's like we probably would barely go to the main city yeah we'd want to be just is. outside where yeah. it's like kind of calmer and easier to just go get food and get back home yeah no, <laughs> wherever there's no traffic please I'll throw a New Zealand in there as for a wild card. New Zealand. Wow. Island, New huh? Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Come on down now. New Zealand looks pretty cool, man. Yeah. All right, there, boy. Pops with a little change of heart. That guy. I think they have better internet, too. Australia would be cool. Australia? Would you guys Australia ever live in really Canada? Canada? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe. You've, you're the only one. <laughs> <laughs> You've been there. So. Maybe. Maybe. Toronto, I mean, it's not America. Toronto is cool, but uh, even as like, clean and as nice as it was, it. It's weird. I guess it's just because I'm so used to being here. An American? It just seems like there's a... I don't know. I don't know. It's I, probably not that I would different. put it up there, though. I'd put it up yeah, there. It's okay. very clean. It's very nice. The snow was cool, but then everybody there is like, oh, no, bro, snow sucks. But I was like, I'm from California. This is magical. Wow. Yeah. Uh, eating it and shit. Uh, eating it and shit. And yeah. they were like, no, you got to shovel it. It sucks. But it was really clean. It was cool to hop on in like a $2 little train thing and take you down to go get a sandwich and come on do they have back fiber home. internet i don't know if they do then maybe there you go it's cool to walk around though um you can't really do that here yep walking yeah, around it's like what are you doing dude yeah it's hot you animal yeah. car what get in the car doing? and sit in traffic what are you doing fun like a normal person <laughs> and pay taxes that's what yeah. you do yeah. and pay quadruple taxes <laughs> yeah. literally yeah, take any dollar you make and put 75 percent of that away just a couple options Thank you, Taylor. Uh, thanks, Taylor. Great question, man. Thank you for always watching, too. Oh, gee, right there. Uh, thanks, Taylor. Jonathan? Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan? Uh, do you play League of Legends? And will you play it on stream? If not, why? <laughs> no and no. If no, why? No, no. Not my kind of game. I don't know. It's like, uh, feels like playing interactive chess in a way, but it's not. I don't see, I watch the videos when it's all hype, and it's even what's on screen doesn't look hype. Yep. Because it's like little uh, characters' life bars going doo -doo -doo, and then changing targets, and they're like, <sighs> like crowds go nuts. I just don't. The hype doesn't work for yeah. me and what so I'm seeing. The reason why I don't play is because the um, and I think League of Legends players would admit this that the community is incredibly toxic and they do not tolerate people trying to learn the game. Like they're trying to advance their rank. Oh, nice. And if you're new, you're sandbagging me. Mm, and so okay. they will be like. Quit being an F word. Get the F over here. You're like, I don't know what buttons I'm pressing. Right, so that's yeah. why. Oh, uh, and would you stream it? So here's why people watch league streams. They watch league streams for people who are really good at the game. And that's about it. Right? I mean, how do you make league entertaining outside of high-level gameplay? Yeah. It's just your input as a gamer, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Uh, so if I'm just learning the game, I'm like, uh, I don't know what this does. What yeah. do you guys recommend? Yeah. The mm. most I've played was 
Heroes of the Storm because I wanted to unlock the Genji skin. I was forced. Yeah. They forced yeah, they us. they forced us to play that game. And we were just trying to win it as quick as possible. Just go <laughs> yeah. down. Everyone go down get the same lane and get it over with. Get me out go of here. Go down the same lane and kill the things. And I'm like, I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan of the mixture of PvE. Like, kill the no, tower. And no. then some guy comes in and like, okay, stop killing the tower. This guy's after me and no one's paying attention. The communication aspect. Yep. I just couldn't stand is it. That, I'd much rather that, hop into Overwatch and just goof off. Yeah, is that how League plays? Like Heroes of the Storm? It, yeah, yeah. All right, it's the same thing. Yeah, Heroes bro, of the Storm. I, games like that are just not fun to me. Yeah. Where you sit there, you click something, and you watch the game play itself has never been fun to me. So I, I don't know. Just not my kind of genre. I've never kind of really... a World of Warcraft vibe with the hotkeys yeah, and the buttons, With the hotkeys. Another kind of like thing, like, I, there's so much abilities. shit going yeah. on the screen at once. And numbers flying. And, like, I just don't know what's going on. Yeah. So it's hard for me to get into. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's almost like picking up Smash Bros. for the first time. It's like, oh, there's, but so, it's much. Also, yeah, there's so, so much. There's so many counters. There's so much genre, to catch up. Right? So many other abilities. Yeah. Like, what is this on the screen? Who's even doing this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's I a big pickup. It's a big... Uh, you got to... It's that big learning curve, right? It's mm -hmm. like, holy shit. I got to learn I all mean, this just to start having fun, kind of. Could we pick it up and stream it? We could. But would that be an entertaining would people stream? Watch? Would Probably people want to watch there's that? Way, I doubt it. There's way too many games that are on the shelf that are way above and that. And better suited to our strong exactly, suit, right? Exactly. Not really for us, but I'm sure it's a great game for those who enjoy it, though, Obviously, Jonathan. I mean, if it's, it's your jam, so I get it, hey, dude. Man, it's it, the most viewed game on Twitch. Top of Twitch for a Do you want to coach me on how to do it? Sure. Do I want to be coached on how to play it? Absolutely. League not. of Legends. <laughs> League of Legends, number two on Twitch. There you go, man. There it is. It's probably. I think it's the biggest game in the world. So it obviously has something going for it. It's obviously, it's obviously good. I'm not going to sit here and say it's yeah. a bad game. It's no. not for me. Yeah. Not for me. Ladies and gentlemen, two hours. A two-hour pod. podcast. Two hours. Yeah. Action packed from beginning to end. The boys went in today. Thank you for your questions <laughs> on the Patreon. Yes. Thanks, guys. Make sure you leave new ones on this post. Please. All you Patreon boys. Yeah. Yep. We love you. And uh, we'll see you next time, huh? I hope so. Bye-bye. Will it be Christmas time-ish? Perhaps. Mayhaps. <laughs> Happenstance. We'll, we'll, see we'll you show guys. off all our new presents Yay. next time. <laughs> we'll see you guys. <laughs> see you then. <laughs> Until you, next time. Bye. Enjoy the podcast. <laughs> Bye. Do we keep waving? Well, you guys can. I have to click a button. Oh. Bye.